पर मैं अभी लॉर्डशिप लीव में लड़ पेंशनिंग इज अलाउड फॉर द टाइम बीइंग यू आर अवेयर मैं लॉर्ड आई एम नॉट मेंशनिंग फॉर इंक्लूजन लॉर्ड लॉर्डशिप वाज प्लीज टू मैं लॉर्ड इंक्लूड टू हियरिंग मैटर्स ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द लिस्ट आइटम नंबर्स 2 एंड 3 इन द हियरिंग लिस्ट मैं लॉर्ड इट वाज रनिंग इन द लिस्ट एज सच फॉर सम टाइम मैं लॉर्ड इट हैज टुडे इट हैज गॉन डाउन क्वाइट अ बिट इन द हियरिंग लिस्ट दीस मेंशनिंग्स विल बी टेकन अप आफ्टर लॉर्डशिप प्लीज लॉर्डशिप लॉर्डशिप इट इज अ फॉर रेस्टोरेशन लॉर्डशिप मतलब रेस्टोरेशन है एंड एप्लीक अपॉन नोटिस यस मतलब ऑलरेडी सर्व नॉट बी लिस्टेड मतलब ऑलरेडी सर्व ऑलरेडी सर्व द अदर्स कंटेंट करेक्शन प्लीज गिव योर नंबर्स एंड लॉर्डशिप फॉर एप्लीकेशंस लॉर्डशिप मतलब फॉर एप्लीकेशन मतलब नथिंग मतलब आई एम अवेयर दैट फॉर द टाइम बीइंग नो मेंशनिंग वुड बी अलाउड बट मतलब इन एक्सट्रीम आर दिस शॉर्ट माय लिस्ट एंड लॉर्डशिप मतलब टू आई टेक अप मेंशनिंग लॉर्डशिप वन मैटर योर लॉर्डशिप मतलब लॉर्ड इन एक्सट्रीम आर्जेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉर्डर दैट मैटर वाज लिस्टेड इट इज अ डायरी मैटर योर लॉर्डशिप बट because the mallet the petitioner short for and settlement of the land instead of doing that the municipality is carrying out the work over the land if they success it's already please wait for some lord lord it has been listed mallet i am praying for upgradation mallet notice down the list code when now standing instruction without notice it will not be listed i have photographs mallet that municipality is working matter, over the land mallet this matter was directed to appear today mallet at this sir you have heard what i have just said Upon mentioning the matter was appearing item number three. Maybe you have to wait for some time, sir. I will not hear this at all. Three, two, two weeks. Sorry, sir. I have called the day list. You are appearing for the petition, sir. Petition, yes. I am still. The written petition has been allowed. I will read out the operating part. Ah, yes. Yes, the judge said that it was. the judgments have been distinguished a uh, no disputed question of fact requiring extensive evidence to be led by the parties has been raised the issue involving repayment of empty tear demand or refund of punitive charges and the like can be decided by the writ court in exercising extraordinary jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution of india upon consideration of the submission made on behalf of the parties and material on record so the mat the writ petition is found to be maintainable in its present form and prayer in the light of the observation made here in above this court is inclined to hold that the petitioners are entitled to refund of the punitive charges paid by them to the tune of rupees 111745 the writ petition is allowed the railway authorities are directed to refund the said amount to the petitioners within 2 weeks from the date of communication of this judgment only one aspect my lord subject to lawsuit correction has lawsuit was decided to refund the amount but the amount is with the railways since 2019 my lord lawsuit till today my lord for five not claimed interest my lord it's lawsuit i am leaving it some interest may be given my lord they were because they were holding up with this money for what five years for a reason it's not uh, Hey, okay, I will not press for it. They, according to the railways, they had sufficient reason to hold them. Grateful, my lord. Deeply obliged. स्टेटेंटली the matter appeared with a typographical error in the post but ho dekhecho doshoje 222 ache yes dekhte tab jan ta 23 ache thik ache now i am for the state respondents mallet ordinary question yes 
but uh, the matter actually what has happened in on the only for correction manera i manera sir after your possible. lordship's approval actually for... the grievance of the red petitioner has been redressed for... land is uh, manera the, the possession of the land handed over to the red petitioner this is the current situation the uh, dismissed manera for uh, what happened manera well, during Unless, i understand i understand manera not before that <laughs> <Yes>. manera <laughs> inadvertent error has crept into the order passed on march 4 2024 in the third paragraph of the order wpa 10263 of 2022 be read as wpa 10263 of 2023 which halt a bit paragraph the department is directed to incorporate necessary correction accordingly paragraph this order be treated as part of the order passed on march 4 2024 urgent certified of sec pocket but may i be permitted to enter my appearance no because this is for correction my lord order term of amendment yes what is the correction this matter will order na the last line of the order date it is of march will not that is a correction well it instead of february will not it will be will not until march 22 22 23 no Uh, sorry, I don't know. It is twenty-two. It will be twenty-three. Yes. <laughs> One. Ah, uh, for it. Great. Twenty-two. कोड़ा होएगा जब बोल को twenty-three होगा. जा बोले जी ताई. One zero two six. For it. In a in a inadvertent error has been with the order passed on fifth March twenty twenty-four. Paragraph in the last line of the order. This is the next one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. In the last line of the order, February twenty twenty twenty-four be read as March twenty twenty twenty-four. Paragraph: The department is directed to incorporate necessary correction accordingly. Paragraph: This order be treated as part of the order passed on fifth March twenty twenty four. As in certified website. Sir, this will be the part of the original order. Recorded. Item six. Just one. Six. Yes, item six. Yes, one order. May I please, Lord Chief? Yes. What is the application? One order. This is there are two applications. One is restoration application, and another is delay in filing the restoration application. Yes, Mr. Chandni Chowdhury is appearing in this matter. Yeah, I have already we have sir, no fees. Show no more item restoration. Malad, what happened? Three hundred eleven days delay. Let it be. Yes, sir. I'm grateful to you. And lastly, one only one thing, Malad. If you lastly kindly turn. Uh, Are you ready with the read petition also today? Yes, I can because he is Malad. Only kindly see Malad page twenty four. Kindly see. The life support, oxygen support, his petitioner is alive, and that this, all these affidavits have been affirmed in his residence on commission. Page twenty-four. Page twenty-four of the can one. Yes. Of this can is the one. Can one. This is the present condition of the petitioner. No, I'm not saying. Can uh, can we deal with the red petition today? What is the matter about? For the his land has been terminated since he has he could not utilize the said land. Only not. हियरिंग वॉज गिवेन बट आफ्टर कंक्लूशन ऑफ दियरिंग Opportunity of being asked, they did this. You were given an opportunity of hearing. Yes. So, Mister, they impugned. It, uh, he has come against the impugned order. So there is no question of consideration. So we have to deal with it. We have to deal with it. Yes. He was. So let it. Please part. come back with a report in that. Or right. kindly, kindly, kindly give it it also that. So that. Yes, the report. What is the number? Item number. Yes. That is eight. Yes. Yes. No. No. What is it? It is eight. Two. Okay. Yes. Sure. So, what is the copy? Can 
Paragraph sufficient grounds being made out, comma the application is allowed. Paragraph the order passed on 9th February 2023 is set aside. Paragraph the writ petition is restored to its original file and number. Paragraph there shall however be no rest to costs. Can such and such is disposed of? WPA the order could Learned counsel for the respondents seeks to submit a report in the form of affidavit in this matter. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the heading Group 1 motion on 8th April. Lord, yes. I'm grateful. I'm obliged to Lord, I'm obliged. Yes, my Lord, uh, I am for the state. Yes, my Lord. But there is no delay. Application uh, petition was dismissed on the ground of default on 5th of February 2024. What about the repetition itself? Do you have you are the Malad, this I the is the subject matter of the repetition? No, no, Malad, the, dismissed for default. In the involved in the repetition are covered by your lordship's judgment and the latest notification passed by the state. But for regarding payment of transfer permission fees, we are ready to pay the permission fees for mutation because in the meantime, notification has come and your lordship's judgment is there also. So it will take only four or five minutes. I will come back with the judgment of Let your lordship. Can one of 2024 the same order could restoration? Huh? <coughs> restoration in pending. Uh, order passed on 5th uh, February 2024. 5th February. 5th February. WPA the order could let the matter appear under the heading Group 1 motion on 8th April. Nice to meet Grateful to Next. I'm for the petition. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is, yes, complied with the difference that they were saying about the uh, uh, boundary wall and etc. My lord, that has also been sorted out. They have uh, been there. Actually, we wanted, my lord, as per the plan. Did you sit together? Yes, yes. Sit together there. I have something to say, my lord. Yes, my lord, kindly sit. They are circular. They have to show, my lord, minimum uh, distance is mandatory. Yes. This is my submission on merit. No. The, if, if, my lord, so far as we are concerned, we have complied with. As per building plan, it was 2.4 meters. No, that, yes. that is... Passed for 3.9 Why? Meters. Why? Kindly see the building plan. Kindly see... Kindly see the building plan, my lord. 2.4, they are saying, is the... They, are, they have stated. So why do I ask for 3? Kindly see, in between the, there is a, well, 1.536, my lord has got it. In the left hand co corner, yes. My lord, the pathway is 2.4 meter. Sorry, my lord. The yes. pathway. Pathway, kindly. Rail, rail path. Yes, this is, this is the railway line. Kindly see, my lord, the uh, right hand corner, there is a circle. Kindly see the railway line is going on, and then there is a small path that is going inside, and the, that's the line. 2.4 meters wide. Wide. And okay. then 1.536 is the gap they have shown in the map. Sorry, my lord, kindly come to the left hand left hand side. Now, now it's it's amplified. Amplified portion, my lord, see. 2.5, 2.4 wide pathway. And 1.5 is... Uh, Can you add this? My lord will find that magic figure. 
So as per the plan, according to us, they cannot construct anything in between this 3.9 meter. I have said you should strictly maintain the distance of 3.9 meter from railway boundary to the nearest edge of your construction as per the proposed building plan. Now they were saying 2.4, 2.4. I was also confused uh, on the other day. Now how do I how do the railway get 3.9? 2.4 plus 1.536 is 3.9. 2.4 is the width of the road. Road and the minimum the space they had to give a gap is 1.1536. Malar has got it on the left hand side, Malar. So besides the road, it has to be 1.5. Yes. So total is 3.9. The road that, is already there. The road is the road is already there. Beside the road, you cannot construct. Suppose the road is this construction part. cannot be on the road. Uh, yes, the two point four is already there. And so then one that it should be one point five. Yes, beside that it will be one point five. That's as per the building load. This is our explanation. Now, Malat, kindly consider. This. this is the reason why three point nine has come. We have sat. We have tried to explain why this is three point nine. This, in my humble submission, Malat, is a plausible explanation. Which is right or wrong? Unnecessary. Yes. So that needs to be. That can't. We cannot well, continue no, the content okay. proceedings any further. This I have is to my humble yes, yes, I know. So let, no this, let this be disposed of. Yes, yes. But liberty may be very complex. No, 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 you have the liberty. Yes. It's a uh, may I file the, file the affidavit? It is not necessary to be given. I will indicate that no one no, leaving. No, 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 no. That is also my. That is the law. How? Why did I record that? Why did I record the code? By that, I have a No, no, no. No, no. First, the order, my lord. Before, before was uh, issuing the law. They have passed the order. We have accepted. No, no I have. Go ahead. Five sides. It is the order that is also not on record. <laughs> I will give you the order. Sharing was This has to be brought on record then. Your order. Your No, no. My order. Yes. ियन <laughs> No, this is eight up. This is the account. No, eight up. Accept. Okay. After signing, after signing this, no, I can only consider this. Uh, in the hearing, the issue has been discussed, and the party accepted the distance of Atho from the railway boundary as per the, and yeah, this is the recording, and they have accepted it, my lord. Received this order. Now, if there is any grievance. Whether they have accepted or not, how can that be in a content matter? No, he is only seeking liberty. That's yeah, it. This liberty is the blessings of the court required in this case, my lord. Since this term accepted is stated here, so, so that that is that is there that that for that any blessings probably may not be required. I'll just record that it is substantially complied with nothing yes. else, nothing Deep else, place. and you have the liberty. Deeply obliged. Deeply obliged. Deeply obliged. This is very difficult. Not the order of the court. Yes, no. and that is not on record. Order. Then, well, this is the order. You have not seen all the part of the order for representation. Representation is based on the basis of their guideline. They are all they over. The guideline. They are all over. If you are agreed by this, you have the liberty to challenge. This liberty, I am telling you. No, no. The court will not record it. Affidavit of service and affidavits of compliance. Submitted on behalf of the alleged contemners are taken on record. Paragraph: It appears that the order under contempt has has been substantially complied with. Paragraph: In view of the above, that it, the contempt application being CPN such and such is disposed of. Paragraph: There shall, however, be no order as to costs as in the paragraph of said count. All all interlocutory applications are also disposed of. The there are no interlocutory applications. Yes, and one point why we have made this matter: the uh, the affidavit has been signed by a person we wanted leave. So that's the reason. The can numbers, interlocutory applications two. being can two and can three, two are two, also three, disposed of accordingly. Two, three, four. They are appearing for in the list. They are appearing, madam. Two, three, four appear. Mm -hmm. They can have a list of all the disposed of. Huh? List of.
डीपली बोले नेक्स्ट सर अपने Your lordship heard on several occasions. Your lordship also granted me time. I will be seeking for my lord on more month because record of the BLLRO is being prepared. It will be handed over to me, and I shall. Last time, my lord, this was my lord may I be permitted to? My lord, my lord, only. No further time will be granted. Can dismiss your lordship. My lord, uh, my lord's order. Are you before the police can ask me? डिस्पोज there shall however be no rest to costs paragraph however the applicant petitioners are at liberty to produce relevant documents before the appropriate authority for uh, 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 authority in support of their respective claims for consideration of the same by the authority yes there shall uh, urgency to have a check deep Some of them have got. Some Two of them have got. Yes. Others have not produced documents. Yes, yes. Deep. Next. Hey, talk in English. Hello. Yes, my lord. I am for the petition, my lord. This is the quantum application. Is it appearing for the first time? First time, my lord. Please serve and come back. The applicant petitioner is directed to serve copy of the contempt application along with annexure thereto upon the alleged contemptor and file affidavit of ser service on the adjourned date. Paragraph: Let the matter appear under the same heading on tenth April. Oh, no. No. Eleven. It is my application, my lord. The petition. You are appearing for which respondent? It cannot be because the the state is there. Yes, no, yes. For Union of India. It is necessary party. Are you ready with your exception? The not necessary. The uh, the between of uh, opposition. In connection with the his report, my lord, I you I, can file an exception. I can give it a exception. It is exception. Please serve a copy. Who is appearing for the state? State. Uh, state. What is the logo? State Muhammad Ghali and Mr. Kapil. Who are they? You are appearing. Yes, my lord. State. Yes, my lord. <laughs> The railway is taking time today. Let them come back. Let them come back. The railway is asking for time. Will you file your exception today? My lord, did you give did you give a a permit? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. exception used by the petitioners, petitioners to the report in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record please serve copies to the respondents you receive copies and 
A paragraph on prayer of the railways, the matter is adjourned. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 12th April. Hello, item 12, my lord, I appear for the petitioner. Hello, on Friday evening, my lord, I have been served with a copy of the my lord, uh, report filed by the state responsible. So, my lord, I want some time to my lord, file exception to that my lord, report. On Friday afternoon, I have been served. 12 and 13 are two connected matters where Mullard in one of the matters it co his Kolkata wetlands was not a party and it was a lot of pleasure that they should be added as parties. They have been that's added why, as parties. That's why the, both the matters are taken up here. Can the council come back with the exception? We, have, we really have nothing to play, uh, do here. Mullard, we are, uh, appear for him to go. Learned council for the petitioner seeks to use an exception. A report was filed by the state. State, my lord. Exception report. No, no, one to six. One to six. So, uh, uh, exception to the report submitted on behalf of the respondents. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 12th April. I'll deploy. Serve an advanced copy. My Lord, I'll deploy. Both matters, my Lord, item 12 and 13. Yes, analogous lead. They're analogous. They're analogous. They are analogous. Yes. Deploy. Okay. Important, Mala, I'm for the petitioner. Yes. If my lord kindly recalls, it is that matter, my lord, to hire in the petitioner where my lord came out to successful LOT of a particular plot of land, land in which my lord. So he is appearing. And Hitko. In which my lord draw of lots were held, my lord. Hitko, Mr. Bojinder is appearing for Hitko. Well, I'm appearing for you. Hitko? Yes. So what happened, my lord? Few dates are very important in this case, my lord. The yes. first, my lord, the result of my lord, the lottery was came out in in the month of August 2021, and accordingly, my lord, since my name was my lord was appearing in the in the successful allotees, therefore, my lord, in compliance of the rules and regulation, I went and submitted the necessary documents, my lord. And while submitting, my lord, the necessary documents in support of our my lord eligibility criteria, my lord, they also received the copies and accordingly. Given acknowledgement. Kylie comes to paragraph my lord, running page number 61A. All the high officials, my lord, are uh, both the HITCO and the state has uh, filed reports. Yes, ma'am. We have filed report. Hitko has filed report. Hitko has filed report. Hitko has filed report. Sufficient. So 224 is HITCO. And before my before my lord, I start my submission, my lord may recall that uh, it, it is a second round of litigation. And uh, before my lord, the second round of litigation started, my lord, as it appears that the, my plot of land in which I was successful allotee was already my lord allotted or my lord, the lottery has already came out. On the last occasion, my learned friend representing the HITCO verbally assured that nothing will happen. So just for the sake of my lord, uh, recollection, I have made this submission, my lord. Yes. So 61A is my lord, uh, the later. That was informed to me for the purpose of submission of documents in support of our eligibility criteria. And accordingly, we went and submitted all the relevant documents. And that was also acknowledged by them, my lord. And the dates is also mentioned 13th of my lord, September 2021. Thereafter, my lord, we were all waiting for the, uh, the uh, letter of allotment so that my lord will make the nature deposits. And uh, finally, the allotment in my favor comes. Since there was a lot of delay, my lord, so we are at our wits end as to what is happening. And finally, my lord, one letter came from the HITCO itself, my lord, that is at running page number 85. That is after one year, my lord. The lottery was held in the month of August 2021. And this letter, if my lord kindly comes to straight away page number 85. This particular letter is dated 30, 30th August 2022. After one year, this letter has come from HITCO. Whereas it has been mentioned, may I just read my one page letter, my lord. Whereas WB HITCO invited online application for allotment through lottery of 400 plots of land for residential purpose of 1990 years, leasehold basis for a type one housing cooperative society formed exclusively by West Bengal state government employees, including police, Type 2 housing cooperative society formed by person not belonging to type 1 under scheme such and such. 
and whereas you and seven others in the name of FCI Employees Cooperative Society applied for allotment of plot for type 1 category housing cooperative society which is received exclusively for the West Bengal state government employees as per terms and conditions mentioned in the brochure of the said lottery. Thereafter, I will place the brochure. Whereas on verification of application papers and documents submitted by you, it is found that all the members of your cooperative society have, full, have failed to fulfill the eligibility criteria for type 1 category housing cooperatives as all the members of your proposed cooperative society are central government employees. Hence, the proposed FCI employees cooperative society is not eligible to be a type 1 category cooperative housing society. Hence, as per clause 12, under general terms and condition of the brochure of the said lottery, your application for allotment of plot of plot is liable for cancellation and the application money amounting to rupees 4 lakhs <coughs> is liable to be forfeited unless a reply to this letter is received from your end within 15 days from the date of issuance of this letter. In view of the above, you are requested to reply the reason for such application within 15 days, failing which WB Hitco will cancel your application data such and such and forfeit the application money without any further intimation to you in this. You are admittedly central government employees, isn't yes, it? Yes, admittedly central government employee, and I am within their eligibility criteria. I'll place that brochure, my lord. If my lord kindly comes to then the uh, the eligibility criteria, that is that is my lord running page number 40. Yes. This is the eligibility criteria. Mala first see kindly uh, small a type one housing cooperative formed exclusively by government employees, including police. Type two housing cooperative uh, formed by person belonging to type one. They are they are the term government employee, including police, will be defined as follows: West Bengal government employees, including police, teaching, non-teaching. Employees of statutory bodies in West Bengal, Roman 3, my lord. So, FCI, my lord, Food Corporation of India admitted a central government organization and it is a statutory body in West Bengal. So, it is our plea since the, my lord, the language states specifically the statutory bodies in West Bengal. So, therefore, you are eligible. And they also considered our application to be, my lord, uh, uh, successful. Then that is why they also sat tight over this matter for one long year. They are after to be successful subject to verification very well. Uh, so, this is uh, so, so my first mile of the lake of submission would be that we are the statutory organization in West Bengal. There is no qualms that we are do not exist in West Bengal. We have the, our journal office, regional office, and my lord, numbers of depots in, in all over West Bengal. And secondly, my lord kindly comes to. Now, how uh, do you define statutory bodies in West Bengal? Does it statute. include also central government bodies? It is. It is. It is our my lord, respect to submission is all the statutory uh, my lord, corporation or bodies which are in in existence in West Bengal that are eligible because it is a statutory bodies in West Bengal. Second time when only to differentiate and only to make an escape route when they came out for a subsequent notification, they have also tried to clarify this one. I have also my lord attached this. Subsequent notification. They are, they have mentioned West Bengal, uh, statutory bodies of government of West Bengal. For the second time, they became wiser and make this clarification. So as for the first notification concern, my lord, it is my respectful submission. Only seeing this notification, only being swayed by their my lord, the public notice. Where is the second notification? Yes, second notice is my lord, the relevant page. Yes, my lord. It is running page number 105. My lord, the uh, Roman 3, small a, statutory bodies of government of West Bengal. This time they have made the clarification and, and admittedly, my lord, if this eligibility criteria is there or had it been there, my lord, then we could not have applied. They have agreed to refund your uh, application. Uh, my lord, I am coming to that. My lord, when they, my lord, finally, my lord, cancel my allotment after another few months, my lord, in, in January 2023, they took the plea that we are barred 
or rather we are ineligible under clause 12, Roman 12, Malay, that is learning page number 38. Yes. Clause Under this clause, my lord, in their my lord, letter of cancellation, they have relied upon this particular clause. WB Hitco will conduct verification of the application and can reject application for factual errors or submission of wrong or incomplete supporting documents and information. The applicants will need to ensure the correctness of the application. Rejected application will not be considered for allotment. The application money and any other fees paid will be forfeited in such case of rejection. So had my case would have been rejected, the money, my money would have been forfeited. In this case, my lord, they have refunded my money. I am taking advantage of this fact because my lord shown a good gesture, sir. Uh, nevertheless, my lord, that is their fault. They Maybe they have, but, but we are interested to get this That's fault. So that is why my lord, part. yes, my lord, even if that is a good gesture of part, that was my lord, second, my lord, the wrong committed by my lord, two wrong cannot, my lord, make the, uh, the wrong, uh, a, a, my lord, right one. So they should so, have decided not to refund. Had, had we come in Never this clause, my lord, had we come in this particular clause, my lord, then definitely we are we are not entitled to forfeit. See, some they have refunded. Some discretion is left with the authority. My lord, first of all, there is no discretion is there, my lord, as far this clause is con subject to sanction of your lordship. And kindly see whether this clause is applicable in our case or not. What is the, my lord, the, the, my lord, the, the grounds on which they can cancel? Reject application for factual errors. There is no such factual errors, my lord. They did not their case. They do not belong to any particular corporation. Or submission of wrong or incomplete supporting documents. It's not their case, my lord. We have submitted any wrong or incomplete documents or information. The applicant, applicant will need to ensure the correctness of the applications. So, as far as the my lord, the eligibility criteria is concerned, statutory corporation in West Bengal, we applied and accordingly in support thereof, we have filed. So, where under this particular clause, my lord, I am debarred from getting the allotment of law. That is my lord, first my lord, leg of my submission with regard to factual errors, factual things, my lord. A second leg of my lord, my argument would be even if my lord this particular clause my lord stays, then also my lord it is violative of Article 14. I have taken a specific plea, my lord. They cannot make a class legislation. They cannot make a particular class of people among the another class of people. Have and you that is the virus? Uh, 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 yes, my lord. That is the, the virus of this particular. Have you the virus yes, my lord. In my prayer also, my lord, I have taken the plea that it is not a case of reasonable my lord, classification. Having the intelligible, intelligible, my lord, differentiation with the objects ought to be achieved, my lord. I have that is why in my my lord, in my reply to their opposition, my lord, I have attached their object. Where is your prayer challenging the virus, my lord? E, my lord. Prayer E, my lord. This is not a case of a manual reasonable classification. That's all your submission? My lord. So, in support of my lord, kindly, my lord, know that reasonable classification is permissible. Class legislation is impermissible, but reasonable classification is permissible, provided, my lord, that intelligible differentiator is to be some nexus with the objects sought to be achieved, my lord. So I have, my lord, in, in, in my petition, my lord, I have uh, given whatever the information they have, my lord, um, given in their public portal, I have attached that is running page number 29, where nowhere I could find, my lord, this WB Hitco is allotting land only for the purpose of, of developing a certain category of people. Uh, in support thereof, my lord, in my reply, in my exception to my their opposition, my lord, I have also uh, attached one of their so-called objective, my lord, that is, if my lord kindly takes up my exception. Page page nine, my lord. Where they have given an introductory, my lord. Uh, they have referred to the criteria in the notification. <coughs> As per criteria detailed here in below. So that includes this one. Yes, my lord. For the criteria, we are coming. And even if that criteria, that is why, even if the I am not coming under the criteria, then my lord, their action is hit by Article 14. I have my lord twofold submission. First, my lord, I am coming in the criteria. If not, my lord, then it is violative of 14. Because their objective is not for the purpose of development of the plot of land, only for the purpose of uh, my lord, the government employees. 
Had it been Malay, the my case would have been different. Had the Malay government of West Bengal Malay acquired a certain portion of land for the purpose of the development of their own employees, situation would have been different. Malay W hit Malay is aware of aware aware of Malay. The lot of Malay other activities are also going on. So therefore, when they are drawing a lottery Malay, they cannot Malay divide a particular organisation if it belongs to central government. Other activities are not included in this notification, isn't it? Not in the notification, but they they are their land Malay. W hit Malay land Malay. But kindly see their objective once Malay. They have to Malay establish their their Malay the classification with the objective. That is the Malay the thumb rule. Kindly see once Malay my reply Malay exception Malay. Page number nine, and I'll place my two or three decision. That is that 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 would be my end of my submission. Your exception, yes. My lord, my my exception. Yes. Page number nine. Page number nine. Yes, my lord. Yes. Annexure P one. Annexure P one. My lord, and there are two annexure, my lord. P one and P two. P two, my lord. I in the midst of my submission, I already my lord submitted. That even before we file the zip petition, my lord, it looks like my lord, they are by way of second lottery, my lord, they have already allotted this land. In spite of that, they did not disclose either in their opposition or in course of hearing, my lord. My lord had heard this matter at least two or three occasion. Only on the last occasion, I produced the document. Then, my lord, a verbal assurance came from their side. No, no, they are not going to deal with this plot of land. But as it appears, my lord, this plot of land was allotted with certain person, my lord, in in serial number three, in September 2023. And thereafter, my lord, they, we have filed this writ application without knowing this fact. They have also appeared. They have made verbal submission and they have filed their written op opposition as well, my lord. In opposition, also, my lord, they did not did not disclose this fact. Okay. They, they have already allotted this land. Right. So, yes. But they, as it as it looks like, my lord, on the last occasion, my learned friend verbally assured that they are not going to allot this land. Be that, my lord, as it may, my lord, they their conduct shows, my lord, they they are have scant regard for the rule of law. It is my uh, humble submission. Kindly comes to Malay page number nine once. The, yes. Yes. This is the objective, as I can find from their Malay public portal. From their objective, I could not find Malay. They are uh, they are Malay interested or entitled to develop this property, Malay, or the the lands only for the purpose of the government of West Bengal employees. Thank you. Subject to correction, because this is the only Malay information available in their part public portal. I do not know whether there are any public or my lord the official memorandum or something like that or not. But that is even if it is there, it is there. My lord, it is not available in the public order. So therefore, my lord, my submission would be this: even if my lord, I am hit by this particular article twelve, so uh, whereby my lord, my application was sought to be rejected. Uh, that particular article, my lord, is hit by article fourteen. And if my lord allows, then I will place two or three decisions, my lord, to show how my reasonable classification, my lord, is permissible. One of my first decision would be my lord constitution bench decision, my lord. It is celebrated decision, and it is awful relied upon. Ha, ha. Sir, attention, sir. Yes. Sir, attention, sir. Yes, sir. One quarter, sir. Name SCC. Sir, sir. Name, sir. Bolu. Sir. DS Nakara. 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 Yes, not that. Yes, yes, pension. Pension, yes, pension matter. My learned senior no, friend is right. In a pension matter, my lord, the the my lord, this constituent had an occasion to deal with the matter. Why that uh, a pension holder for a particular period could be debarred from my lord getting the benefit of pension or not? Here, the my lord principle of regional classification. One second, discuss my lord. May I please? Paragraph. Ah, yes, my lord. It starts from my lord paragraph number seven in my lord the page number four. Paragraph seven. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. Not exactly paragraph seven, my lord. If my lord kindly comes to page number three. Yes. Paragraph number ten. Yes. The scope, content, and meaning of Article fourteen of the Constitution has been the subject matter of intensive examination by this court in a pattern of decisions. It would therefore be merely by adding the length of the judgment and. We capitulate all the decisions, and it is better to avoid the exercise, save and accept, referring to the one latest decision of subject of Menaka Gandhi versus Union of India. Then citation is given. What is the content and reach of the great equalizing principle enunciated in Article? There can be no doubt that the founding father faith of the Constitution. It is indeed the pillar on which rests securely the foundation of our democratic republic, and therefore. It must be subjected to narrow pedantic and lexicographic approach. 
no attempt should be made to truncate its all embracing scope and meaning for to do so would be violative of of its activist magnitude equality is a dynamic concept with many aspects and dimension and it cannot be imprisoned within territorial or doctrinal limits <laughs> article 14 strikes and arbitrariness in state action and ensure fairness equality of treatment the principle of reasonableness which legally as well as philosophically is an essential element of equality or non arbitrariness pervades article 14 like a brooding omnipresence the decision clearly lays down that though article 14 forbids class legislation it does not forbid reasonable classification for the purpose of legislation in order however to pass the test of permissible legis classification two condition must be fulfilled first one that is the classification must be founded on an intelligible differentia which distinguishes persons or things that are grouped together from those that are left out of the group and that the differentia must have a rational relation to the objects sought to be achieved by the statute in question the classification may be founded on differential basis according to objects sought to be achieved but what is implicit in it is that there ought to be a nexus or casual that is casual connection between the basis of classification and object of the statute under consideration it was equally well settled by the decision of this court that article 14 condemns discrimination not only a substantive law but also for law procedure thereafter my lord uh, sub paragraph 3 the constitutional command of the state to afford equal protection of its laws acts as a goal not attainable by the invention and application of a precise formula therefore classification need not be constituted by an exact or scientific exclusion or inclusion of persons or things the court should not insist on delusive exactness or apply doctrinaire test for determining the validity of classification in any given case classification is justified if it is not palpably arbitrary in my case it is palpably arbitrary thereafter my lord kindly comes few more paragraph the last was the one the classification must not be arbitrary but must be rational that is to say it must not only be based on some qualities or characteristics which are to be found in all the persons grouped together and not in others who are left out but those qualities or characteristics must have a reasonable relation to the object of the legislation in order to pass to the test two condition must be fulfilled again malo repeated that the classification must be founded on an intelligible differentia which distinguishes those that are grouped together from the others and that differentia must have a rational relation to the object sought to be achieved by the act the other facets of article 14 which must be remembered is that it excuse arbitrariness in any form article 14 has therefore not to be held identical with the doctrine of classification as noticed in manke gandhi case in its earlier stages of evolution of constitutional law article 14 came to be identified with the doctrine of classification because the view taken was that article 14 forbids discrimination and there will be no dis discrimination where the classification making the difference here fulfills the aforementioned two conditions however in ep goappa case and versus tamil nadu it was held that the basic principle which informs both article 14 and 16 is equality and inhibition against discrimination this court further observed thereafter my it has been uh, repeated and if my lord kindly comes to the last two paragraph 15 and 16 that the fundamental principle is that article 14 forbids class legislation but permits reasonable classification for the purpose of legislation which classification must satisfy the twin test of classification being founded on an intelligible differentia which distinguishes persons or things that are grouped together from those that are left out of the group and that the differentia must have a rational nexus to the object sought to be achieved by the statute in question mala i am harping on this point mala there has to be some certain objective in the hitco act hitco mala the the rules or regulation whatever it is there unless it is not there merely because the certain employees are grouped together and i am left out that cannot be permissible that's why the mala the decision mala goes and the last paragraph mala the 16 as a corollary to the well established proposition the next question is to on whom the burden lies affirmatively establish the rational principle on which the classification is founded co related to the objective sought to be achieved that the thrust of article 14 is that the citizen is entitled to equality before law and equal protection of laws in a, in the very nature of things the society being composed of unequal well unequals a welfare state will have to strive by both executive and legislative action to help the less fortunate in society to ameliorate the conditions so that the social and economic equality in the society may be breached this would necessitate a legislation applicable to a group of citizen otherwise unequal and amelioration 
of whose lot is the subject of state affirmative action. In the absence of the doctrine of classification, such legislation is likely to be founded on equal founded on the bedrock of equality enshrined in Article 14. This court realistic uh, apprising the court realistically apprising the social sacrification and economic inequality and keeping in view the guidelines on which a state action must move as constitutionally laid down in part four of the constitution evolved the doctrine of classification. The doctrine was evolved to sustain a legislation or legislative and executive action may be accordingly. I'm sorry, Mala, one light I've skipped. The doctrine, yes, Mala, state action designed to help weaker section of the society of some uh, of some such segments of the society in need of succor. Mala, the government employees of West Bengal I do not find Mala there, Mala. Is subservient to the government of Mala, the central government employees that they have to ameliorate my lot so that they have to group together in depriving the central government employees. Legislative and executive action may be accordingly be sustained if it is satisfied the twin test of reasonable classification and the national rational principle correlated to the object sought to be achieved. The state, therefore, would have to affirmative, affirmatively satisfy, satisfy uh, the court that the twin test must have been satisfied. It can only be satisfied if the state establishes not only the rational principle on which the classification is founded, but correlates to the object sought to be achieved. This approach is noticed in Ramana versus Sachin Sach, where at page number Sachin Sach, the court observed that a discriminatory action of the government is liable to be struck down unless it can be shown by the government that the departure was not arbitrary, but was based on some valid principle which in itself was irrational was not irrational, un 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 unreasonable, or discriminatory, my lord. So therefore, my lord, onus upon them to show, my lord, this particular grouping together of few people, few government employees is not irrational, my lord, or, or unreasonable or discriminatory. Two more decent, my lord, I'll cite, and Yes, uh, name is Mahabir Auto Service, Auto Stores. Thank you, Aunt. Uh, 90, huh? yes, 90, uh, delivered in 90. 12 and 13, my love. Paragraph 12 starts at page number 4. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is well settled that every action of state or an instrumentality of the state in exercise of his executive power, one of the last paragraph, must be informed by reason. In appropriate cases, action uniformed by reason may be questioned as arbitrary in proceedings under Article 226 or Article 32 of the Constitution. Reliance in this connection may be placed on observation of this court in Radhika Krishna, Radha Krishna Agarwal versus State of Bihar. It appears to us at the outset that in the facts and circumstances, the respondent company IOC is an organ of the state or an instrumentality of the state as contemplated under Article 12 of the Constitution. The state acts in its executive power under Article 298 of the Constitution in entering or not entering in contract with individual parties. Article 14, sorry, Article 14 of the Constitution would be applicable to the to those exercises of power. Therefore, the action of state organ under Article 14 can be checked. See, therefore, my decent has been cited. But Article 14 of the Constitution cannot or has not been constituted as a charter for judicial review of state action after the contract has been entered into to call upon the state to account for his action in its manifold activities by stating reasons and for such action. In a constitution, in a situation of this nature, certain activities of respondent company which constituted with state under Article 12 of the Constitution may be in certain circumstances subject to Article 14 of the Constitution in entering or not entering into into contracts and must be reasonable and taken only upon lawful and relevant consideration. It depends upon facts and circumstances of a particular transaction, whether hearing is necessary and reasons have to be stated. In case any right conferred on the citizen who is sought to be interfered with, such action is subject to Article 14 of the Constitution and must be reasonable and can be taken only upon lawful and relevant grounds of public interest. Where there is arbitrariness in state, state action of this type of entering or not entering into contracts, Article 14 springs up and judicial review strikes such an action down. 
every action of the state executive authority must be subject to rule of law and must be informed by reasons. So whatever the activity of the public authority in such monopoly or semi-monopoly dealing, it should meet the test of Article 14 of the Constitution. If a government action, even in the matter of entering or not entering into contracts, fails to satisfy the test of reason, reason, um, reasonableness, its same would be unreasonable. In, the, in this connection, reference may be made to certain minor decisions that has been cited thereafter. Malo. It appears to us that rule of reason and rule against arbitrariness and discrimination, rule of fair play and natural justice are part of the rule of law applicable in situation or accent of the state instrumentality in dealing with citizens in a situation like the present one. Even, even though the rights of the citizens are in the nature of contractual rights, the manner the method and the motive of decision of entering or not entering into contract are subject to judicial review on the touchstone of relevance and reasonableness. Fair play, natural justice, equality and non-discrimination in this type of transaction and nature of dealing in the present case. The existence of power of judicial review, however, depends uh, upon the nature and the right involved in the facts and circumstances of the particular case. It is well settled that there can be Malice in law, existence of such malice in law in part of the critical aperture of a particular action in administrative law. Indeed, malice in law is part of the dimension of the rule of relevance and reason as well as the rule of fair play in action. So in this case, my lord, the, even the, after the contract was entered into, then also my lord, the Supreme Court intervened and my lord, uh, the, the, the judicial review was exercised. And third one, my lord, uh, that is yes, Om Prakash Sud. That is again, my lord, the full range decision. The, the short decision, my lord. If my lord kindly comes to state by page number, uh, paragraph number eight. It is in page number five. Paragraph? Yes. Paragraph 8. Yes. Equality by the law or equal protection of laws within the meaning of Article 14 of the Constitution of India means absence of any arbitrary discrimination by the law or in the administration or in the in their administration. No undue favor to one or hostile discrimination to another should be shown. A classification is reasonable when it is not an arbitrary selection but rests on differences pertinent to the subject in respect of which the classification is made. The classification permissible must be based on some real and substantial distinction. A just and reasonable relation to the object sought to be attained and cannot be made arbitrarily and without any substantial basis. The classification must not be arbitrary but a rational, that is to say it must not only be based on some qualities or characteristics which are to be found in all the persons grouped together and not in others who are left out. Malar, I am putting this question to myself whether Malar, the government employees have, uh, have certain qualities which the central government employees are not. It is not their case, I believe. Those qualities or characteristics must have a reasonable relation to the object of the law. In order to pass the test, two conditions must be fulfilled. Again, Malar, the same thing has been repeated that the classification must be founded on an intelligible differential which distinguishes those that are grouped together from others and that the differentia must have a rational relation to the object sought to be achieved by the act. The differentia which is the basis of the classification and the object of the act are distinct things and what is necessary is that there must be a nexus between them. We are unaware that the, we are not unaware that the rule of equality does not mean mathematical equality and that it permits of practical inequalities. But what is, but, but what is noted what is needed is that the selection of the quota seekers, as, as in this case in hand, should have a rational relation to the object sought to be achieved and in the, in the industrial policy decision of the state. If the selection of differentiation is arbitrary and lacks a rational basis, it offends Article 14. So in this case, Malar, certain um, uh, industrialists were given uh, right to Malar, apply for allotment of license to carry out resin business, Malar. So, my lord, they were left out and accordingly they challenged and they came out successful. Oh, okay. And my lord, the last decision, unfortunately, in a hurry, my lord, I have taken the print on a rough paper, my lord, once 
ंगल Now, my lord, they may take a plea as it appears, my lord. They know because other, my lord, the the first and uh, subsequent, my lord, the eligibility criteria speaks of West Bengal. Perhaps they will submit, my lord. They, it is also implied meaning that the uh, statutory organisation is West Bengal. That is meant by the statutory organisation of West Bengal. Be that as it may, my lord, as long as the language is clear and unambiguous, my lord. So I am entitled to take advantage of this, and that is why, my lord, I, I was allotted the. land and i at this at the time of submission of the documents my lord also they have my lord checking all the eligibility criteria they received the documents given the acknowledgement had we been not my lord eligible then they could definitely at that very point of time could have my lord thrown us away that they did not they checked and my lord accordingly received the documents and gave an acknowledgement thirdly my lord they are also contemplating my lord whether they could my lord accommodate us or not and that is why they took my lord whole one year or rather more than one year and after that my lord they finally cancel our allotment Fourthly, my lord, when in their opposition, my lord, they have no where my lord mentioned the way that any other central government employee or previous lotteries or my lord in in any part of the history they never allow central government employees. I could not find at that at least from the written objects uh, opposition, my lord, they they have taken that plea. So there are many cases, my lord, as on instruction, I am my lord making this submission. I do not have any documentary proof to support. I must be candid. My lord, in the, in previous cases also, my lord, the central government allowed uh, employees were also given chance opportunity to substantiate your yes. I cannot substantiate yes. So that is why I, yes, my lord, uh, yes, subject to sanction, my lord. And fourthly, my lord, even if I am and and my lord, that particular clause which my lord they have my lord relied upon, uh, I am not coming in that clause because I, I neither I have given any wrong or my lord incomplete information nor my lord I am I am fulfilling any criteria uh, article my lord fourteen, that is that is in my lord page number. Under that clause, only my lord, they have cancelled my uh, allotment. Page number thirty-eight. Will conduct verification of the application. Can reject application for factual errors, my lord. I do not know which factual errors I am coming. It is nobody's case, my lord, that we are not employees of central government um, authorities. Or submission of wrong or incomplete supporting documents. I have not not given any wrong document. I, we are the statutory employees of statutory bodies of central government. We have submitted, so I am not coming within the my lord ambit of this particular clause. And even if my lord, I am coming, then also my lord, they cannot rely upon this because it is hit by Article Forty as I have just submitted. So that right. is my my sum and substance of my. Well, may I reply? Well, kindly take my lord first. My lord, my. Uh... Report in the form of affidavit which I filed, because I believe my lord, even the petitioner would agree that the relevant brochure is much more legible in my. Affidavit. Yes, yes, certainly, <laughs> certainly, my lord. <laughs> so that there is no certainly that there is no difficult, my lord. Before I take your lordship, kindly take my lord first some relevant facts before I take your lordship through that brochure, my lord. Kindly take for once. R two five at page forty one of my affidavit. Uh, uh, I mean the report in the form of affidavit. But this is how my lord the money was refunded. Forty one yes. Yes, ma'am. May I just read it? Up? Cancellation of application. Yes, yes, yes. And my lord receipt has been acknowledged. Your lawyer will find it in the next page. In reference to above. I am directed to inform you that on verification of documents submitted by you, in response to our letter dated so and so, it has been found that all members of your cooperative society are central government employees, hence are not eligible to form 
type one category. My lord, I beseech your lordship kindly to mark this category type one category. Cooperative housing society, which are reserved for West Bengal em government employees, including police only. Hence, as per decision of the competent authority of HITCO, your application for allotment of allotment of plot for residential purpose on 99 years legal basis for type 1 category housing cooperative society is hereby treated as cancelled as per clause 12 under the general terms and conditions of the brochure of lottery. As your cooperative society has failed to fulfill the eligibility criteria of type 1 category cooperative, consequently your selection in the lottery as successful applicant under type 1 category has also been treated as cancelled. Accordingly, as approved by the competent authority of WB Hitco, the branch manager of SBI Newtown Rajarhar has been advised to refund the application money amounting to rupees 4 lakhs only to Sri Abhishek Pandey, chief promoter of FCI Employees Cooperative Housing Society, in the bank account of which we which were given in the submitted online application of your society video office number so and so photocopy and close well, kindly take my lord the next page this is dated 25th january 2023 please refer to the above mentioned aforementioned correspondences this is the letter written by the chief promoter uh in context of the in the context of the app caption subject, in reply to your office letter dated 30th August 2022, the undersigned on behalf of other members of the cooperative submitted the rationale behind applying for the allotment of plots being awarded on lottery basis by HITCO under type 1 category. No response from your office has been received so far thereafter. However, on perusal of the bank statement, I noticed a deposit of rupees 4 lakhs in my bank account held with Axis Bank on 6 January 2023, the said amount appears to have been deposited by HITCO. As no written intimation, well, this is incorrect, actually written intimation, your lawsuit will find at page 61A, has been received in this regard. We presume that West Bengal of WB HITCO has refunded the application money earlier paid by us for participation in the draw of lots for allotment of plots under type 1 category for reasons not made known to us. The refund is hereby acknowledged without prejudice to our right to contest such arbitrary action of WB HITCO before an appropriate legal forum. Now, Milad, this is Milad, the refund was therefore accepted, however, without prejudice to our rights to contest the decision. Now, Milad, kindly, now, Milad, come to the, Milad, it's all about the brochure. It's all about, well, that is not, my, I'm not trying to beat about the bush. I'll come to the core issue. Milad, kindly take the brochure, which starts at page 11. Yes. Kindly take, my lord, the the uh, title or the heading, allotment of 400 cooperative residential plots, primarily for government, including police officials in Newtown. Let me lord, kindly take page 12. WB HITCO, an enterprise under the Department of Urban Development Government of West Bengal, invites online applications from Two types of housing cooperative societies proposed to be formed under the West Bengal Cooperative Societies Act for allotment of 400 plots of land for residential use on 99 years lease as per criteria detailed here in below. The said two categories are A, type 1 cooperative housing societies formed exclusively by government employees including police and type B, type and B, type 2 housing cooperatives formed by persons not belonging to type 1. Now, Miller, kindly turn over and Miller take mm -hmm. this. Is the kindly come to page 14. Yes. Petitioner Kalis me Abhishek Pandey heke nahi dekho. In actuary, action area 1, 2, and 3 under the present scheme, so and so formulated by WB Hitko. WB HITCO intends to allot 400 plots of land to lottery to two types of cooperative societies being type 1 housing cooperative formed exclusively by government employees including police and type 2 housing cooperatives formed by persons not belonging to type 1 for residential use on 99 years lease. 
as on as on as is where is basis such cooperative societies are to be formed under the west bengal cooperative societies act now we let now the details of the plots are given after the pictorials my lord kindly come to amarta kindly come to page 23 page 23 23 yes yes ma'am the lottery will be conducted manually in the presence of two judges to be selected by hitco wb hitco will verify the correctness of the application submitted and reserves the right to reject incomplete applications or applications on with factual errors thereafter the accepted applications will be segregated into two types of housing cooperative societies as detailed below type 1 housing cooperatives formed exclusively by government employees including police b type 2 housing cooperatives formed by persons not belonging to type 1 the term government employees including police will be defined as follows all west bengal government employees including police the teaching and non teaching employees of government of west bengal aided educational institutions then iii employees of statutory bodies in west bengal government of west bengal undertakings panchayats including panchayat karmi within the state of west bengal municipal corporation municipal Uh, municipalities local bodies within the state of west bengal west bengal state government pensioners or family pensioners pensioners or family pensioners of west bengal state aided non government educational institutions statutory bodies statutory bodies must so the statutory bodies found place also in the category of the pensioners class state government undertakings panchayats Municipal corporation, etc., local bodies, etc. Well, if we, my lord, may I just humbly submit to your lordship for your lordship's kind consideration. If we take type two and if we take the term government employees, my lord, the entire terms of tender, my lord, this is a kind of auction or tender or whatever. It's a lottery. It's an invitation to offer. If we take these terms as ind indicated in the invitation to for offer to offer, your lordship will find that. the statutory bodies in west bengal cannot mean yes. any authority any statutory authority which is otherwise a central government authority or any other authority it may be a union territory authority but my lord it cannot mean otherwise because my lord kindly take the different uh, a different classes first west bengal government employees including police teaching and non teaching employees of government of west bengal aided educational institutions employees of statutory bodies in west bengal government of west bengal undertakings panchayats including panchayat karmi within the state of west bengal municipal corporations municipalities local bodies within the state of west bengal west bengal state government a pensioners of family employees pensioners and that also includes statutory body pensioners but like take for example my lord suppose statutory body namely wb acdcl that's a statutory that's a body incorporated under the electricity act but is that or my lord west bengal housing board an employee of west bengal housing board they want to form a cooperative society then my lord compare if we compare it with wb idc employees but you lord she will find this category 3 statutory bodies in west bengal would therefore mean any statutory body which is incorporated in west bengal and my lord each and every the, the item namely statutory bodies in west bengal must take the color from the neighboring items but as in stricto sensu my lord the principle of nocitare societies is otherwise not applicable to my lord these these invitation these contractual terms my lord do i have do i have got judgments i will produce the judgments cite the judgment that while taking uh, while interpreting insurance contract the honorable supreme court had applied principle of eus dem generis so my lord i beseech your lordship my lord to apply on principle the principle of nocitor exercises the neighboring items but there is no denying the fact that all those neighboring items or in statutory bodies in west 
West Bengal has to be construed as territory bodies of West Bengal. And that was maybe a typo or whatever. That typo was corrected in the subsequent, my lord, this invitation to offer. Nothing more. We did nothing more. My lord, the main argument of the, of the petitioner, it appears that the central government employees have been left out. I, in my most respectful submission, we do deference to my learned friend. It is not so. They could have applied under type 2. There is a type 2 housing corporate cooperatives formed by persons not belonging to type 1. Well, I borrow an expression which has been used by my learned friend while he made his submission. The petitioners took advantage of this clause. Well, the petitioners could have applied under type 2 and could have been successful and obtained uh, procured a land from Mallard Hitko. This entire basis of violation of Article 14, Mallard, in my most respectful submission, has no material basis, has no foundation. So, Mallard, it is not gainsaid by my learned friend that this, this particular, that the implies of central government or central government undertakings or central government statutory bodies are deprived of their right to make an application for procuring land from HITCO. It is not so. In my most respectful submission, my lord. So, my lord, now, my lord, I will not, I will not, my lord, waste your lordship's time. My lord, I will come straight away to some judgments. First, a galaxy bar for it. Give me galaxy first. Well, I will also distinguish all the judgments which have been cited by him straight away. 2021 16 SCC. But this is 2021 16 SCC 808. Uh, Mr. Mojun, that you will take some more time. Yes, my lord. Uh, since other matters are waiting, uh, very well, my lord. I'll give you a short date to complete. Yes, my lord. I believe Ronald Council will yes, 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 reply yes. to your. No, no, what I can do, what I can do, I can share the judgments. He can come ready on the yes, next, yes, day. Mm -hmm. next day. So that my lord, the matter. Your submissions. It's yeah. only the judgments and the reply. Yes, yes, yes. Like, that's all. That's all. I'll give you a short. Any day, submit to lordship. So all the other matters are. No, 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 my lord. But nothing is above the business of the court. We we have to wait. And I can also my lord get ready about type two issues. That is my lord. Type two issue is definitely against me. I must admit. Let me find out what is the type two issues, my lord. Type 1, Type 2. Under Type 2, admittedly, we, we could have applied. Why we did yes. not apply and what was the minor hindrance? Please sign out in the meantime. Yes. You'll have your chance of reply. Yes, yes. My yes. Lord, is putting this matter on. Her learned counsels for the parties. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading for further consideration on uh, 4th April. Yes, ma'am. We come back on 4th. Since it's not substantially, I want Yes, yes. I believe, my Lord, my part, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand my protection continues, my lord. As for the verbal my lord, absolutely, my lord, we have ensured, my lord, I just my lord, two one minute of your lordship's precious time. My lord, the allotment was made on 19th July. The read petition was filed on 8th, 11th of July. The matter was taken up in the month of September. Whatever assurance was given during the course of hearing was on, uh, in the month of September. We did not part with the position of the land in question. And we will not do Let so. We will wait. Remains. No problems. Extremely grateful, my lord. Grateful. Yes, next. My lord, I am for the petitioner, my lord. My lord, I am appearing online, my lord. I am for the petitioner. My lord, on the earlier occasion, your lordship directed the state to file a report, my lord. My lord, a report has been a report has been served upon me in the in this morning only, my lord. If your lordship kindly allows me to file an exception, my lord. You have submitted yes, the report. Report in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record. Paragraph on prayer of the petitioner, liberty is granted to use an exception to the report. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 15th April. My Lord, grateful, my Lord. Have an advanced copy. My Lord, grateful, my Lord. Oh, I'm on the petition. The report, 
on January 30, 30th January, your Lordship directed us to file a report. Now, my Lord, I have given him a yes, copy of report, and this is the copy for your Lordship. Lord, but I... in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, my Lord, they filed a contempt application, which was disposed of only on Friday. This Friday, that was disposed of. The order is not available as yet. The issue is same. In view of the order passed in contempt application, for which page? In courtroom number fifteen. My lord, I tell you. Courtroom number. Yes, sir. I want to tell you. Now, my lord, the issue, my lord, before your lordship was my contempt was my lord. My main application was disposed of, my lord, granting liberty, my lord, to them to hand over the accounts, my lord. My lord, the accounts, my lord, which they have handed over, are my lord similar, which has been handed over. The group three matter. No, my lord, not group three matter. Group one matter, my lord. Group one matter. Yes, my lord. Now, my lord, the accounts has been handed over to me, my lord, on 4th of uh, March, my lord, 2024, my lord. My lord, I have gone through my um, the accounts, my lord. Your lordship kindly grant me leave, my lord, so that I can take out an exception, my lord. There, my lord, the content has been disposed of with the liberty, my lord, that I should take exception to the report, my lord. Thereafter, my lord, they will give me a chance of hearing in the appeal, my lord. No, no, no. The question, my lord, is, my lord, I am admittedly a tenant, my lord. Now, my lord, an appeal, I had preferred an appeal in a nutshell, my lord, tell your lordship. I had preferred an appeal, my lord. My lord, in that appeal, my lord, was not disposed of. I came before this honorable high court, my lord. Justice Mortage, as his lordship then was, my lord, has granted liberty to me, my lord, to pay 75,000. On condition, I will pay 75,000. And my lord, they will hear out my appeal. I have paid 75,000, my lord. Interim order was there, my lord. Interim order was made absolute. My lord, I had not appeared. Matter was made dismissed for default. I had taken out an application for restoration, my lord. Matter was restored, my lord, in the meantime. Again, my lord, the interim order was restored, my lord. Now, my lord, <coughs> the main application was disposed of with the liberty, my lord, that I will approach them. They will hand over me the accounts, my lord. After reconciliation of the accounts, my lord, a hearing will be given by the appellate. This tribunal. is the other matter. This, this was the other matter. Same the, matter is before same, your lord. Meantime, my lord, in the meantime, my lord, during the same matter is before your lord. Sir, I want to bolt this. Hold name, hold name. I'm sorry, my lord. Yeah, I'm sorry. In hold the on. meantime, my lord, when the matter was pending, my lord, if your lordship kindly come to last two. And next year's Malad, which is appearing in Lordship's brief, Malad. What is your prayer in this petition? Malad, my prayer is, Malad, Malad, to set aside military notice dated 19th of July uh, 2023, Malad, and 27th so of... These July... notices were under consideration in the earlier... No, 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 Malad. Subsequently, Malad, after dismissal or default, Malad, these notices were issued, Malad. For that reason, I was compelled to approach the Honorable High Court, Malad. If these notices are being set aside, Malad, there, there is no embargo, Malad, I will proceed with the appeal. Because your lordship kindly appreciate. If these notices are there, they would say at my face, my lord. The last two uh, annexions? Yes, my lord. Page? Page 277 and 278, my lord. My lord, sorry, my lord. Uh, 276, my lord. Is the only number. 276. The notices referred to in this order are the earlier notices. Yes, ma'am. Earlier notice. Subsequently, ma'am, these notices were issued when my matter was dismissed for Since default. Since there was a dismissal for default, this was. Yes, it. yes, ma'am. So now the earlier notices have been dealt with in that red petition. Yes, ma'am. That was dealt with, my lord. That was disposed of with a liberty, my lord. That I will approach them, my lord. They the will... notices have been set aside or they yes, still remain? Set aside, my lord. So since the earlier notices have been set aside, my lord, it's consequential. My lord, your lordship, because your lordship, I am fighting with the statutory department, my lord. Now, my lord, what they have handed over, my lord, they have handed over me a statement, which according to them is a statement, my lord. Here, my lord, I will show to your lordship, I have already paid them a substantial amount, my lord. Though, my lord, this is not the subject matter before this read petition, I will not bother your lordship, my lord. Let this notice be set aside, my lord, I will approach the appellate authority, my lord. They will hand over me the accounts. My Lord, may I just my Lord, what my learned friend is submitting that is not open to be gone into now in the read application itself. Why I say consequent to disposal of the earlier read petition, which was my Lord by order dated 13th September 2023 by my Lord Justice Vivek Choudhury. The order was passed, my Lord, that 
we will give him a statement of account. He is a tenant under us. We are entitled to number of dues from him. We were directed to give a statement of account to them. And he was supposed to file a written objection within you know, 30 days as directed in that order. And this will be considered by the appellate authority. That means, you know, the statement which would be giving together with his objection will form a subject matter in the appeal which is pending and taken out by him. Now, during this interregnum, for enforcement of the same order challenging this, he taken out two proceedings, one contempt, another read petition. In the read petition, an entry order was passed. My learned friend is right. Your Lordship directed to file a report. While this report we have handed over now before your Lordship, this was placed on Friday in courtroom number 15 in contempt proceeding. He is Lordship disposed of the contempt application, observing that in view of order dated 13 September 2023, complaining whereof contempt is filed, no order can be passed. It was only observed that he will be at liberty to file objection in terms of this order and his objection if filed will be considered in the pending appeal. With that, the contempt proceeding was disposed of. There is no scope of passing any other order than what has been already passed because these are all common. It relates to same issue. I tried to find out the order. But, but since it was the subsequent notice, no, yes. that notice they placed in the contempt application. They were supposed to file an objection. The difficulty on my part becomes that on Friday it was disposed of. The order is not available. Therefore, I could have placed that order. It could have completed everything. Therefore, your Lordship may take it on Friday because in the meanwhile, I will be getting. Lord, Only Lord, Friday Lord. it has been disposed of. I will take it not this week. Lordship, the, the, the matter contempt order. matter has been disposed of on <laughs> Friday, Lordship. So no order if the order is placed, Lordship, Lordship, Lordship in the matter will be sorted. So the order is delayed, it completes it. Can he take pain, my Lord, to take their exception? Without that order, my Lord. No, sir, after that, I have to tell you. Okay, let's see. Possibly the order ends the matter. Yes. My friend was I, there in the country. I, I know that is what I am saying. Yes. You have to kindly take pen to come to page 46 of the report, my lord. This is the accounts, my lord, according to them, my lord. Page 46. Yes. Statement of accounts as on 31st August 2023, my lord. And you have been granted to challenge this. My lord. My lord, I will take my lord's steps accordingly. If my learned friend says, my lord, they will not take any action with regard to but, but, last two annexes, my lord, there is no embargo, my lord, I will proceed, my lord. No, no, I am not. If I, my lord, take an object now, my lord. Take it not this week. Let us also go through what is there in the contract. Order. Something is order. left, my learned yes. friend. I'll just make it not this week so that it appears in the same. We month. come with the order. My Lord friend was there. The order be placed before the Lordship. Lord 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 next, next Monday, Lordship. Next Monday. So that both of us. In the meantime, should I take an exception to the report, my Lord? No, 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 the issue doesn't remain. Let it remain. If it remains, your Lordship will be directed. Otherwise, it will go down. Lordship, Lordship, Lordship kindly Lordship. make him next Monday, Lordship. Not this week comes to yes. next Monday. Oh, one line only. A report kept with the record. I have, have to pass an order and it will go down. No, let it be same. same. That yes, yes. So no problem. Uh, 17 Melody appeared on behalf of the petitioner, Melody. Your lordship on the well, your lordship on the thirty first for the state. Well, uh, initially Mr. Wasim Ahmed and appeared for the state. Ahmed, huh? Yes. Well, uh, initially there was an entry order, and thereafter the entry order was extended time and again. Well, uh, the initial entry order was dated. Well, uh, yes, I've seen that, but uh, where is the state today? And well, uh, till today no report has been filed. Well, uh, the initial order is at third uh, of August 2023, thereby directing the state to file a report. No one for the state in this matter today? None appears for the respondents? No accommodation is sought. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the heading motion on 15th April. 
and at the end the entry mod is I'll be extending it please paragraph the entry order granted earlier is extended till 31st may or until further orders comma whichever is earlier and as regards to the report is concerned well, your lordship is again giving them an opportunity not the, i'll uh, record that several uh, agenda but at least five items have been uh... act line kurun let this matter appear at age act line kurun it is made clear that the matter may be taken up for consideration on the urgent date even in absence of the respondents please inform them i'll intimate well motion huh? next my member petition i have no service to me. yes but i'll give the every service well uh, <coughs> this is a matter of loss you will find the you are appearing both the matters no ma'am in 19 those are connected but i am appearing in 19 in 19 what about 18 there is no the appeal which 18 and 19 same to same i did 18 and 19 are same so but i did appear in the matter as you lord mal this is a case <clears throat> where my land was acquired according to the mal the ila for construction in bangladesh yes. now the land was abhishan and notice was sir that you will find in my petition page uh, page 16 page 16 17 or uh, this is the notice or lots will find abhishan to place In two thousand, for Maladi Swarman and case number four twenty nine of twelve thirty. Two thousand twelve, two thousand thirty. Now two thousand fifteen, seven notice. Passing interest. Malad, we have produce all these documents regarding our title. So that I can get the compensation. Since then, Malad, no calculation has been made. We are in twenty twenty three four. No calculation has been made. What is the amount is entitled? And Malad, the problem is Malad never they offer anything. No disclosure of this amount. Now I come before Rashi that now they cannot calculate in the old date. as per the third act 30 my prayer is also that they did let them calculate this matter and pay as per the act 2013 notice so that is, is the prayer notice is 2015 my lord that is after the 2013 act my lord because lordship knows the judgment i have bring it logically without lordship give a specific direction but in the earlier case lordship was fine they said it is under section 242 already provision has been taken and calculation has been made so we are don't want to proceed as per this new act so here my lord what i am find i find that the calc no calculation has been made no even calculation has been made. will not be applicable here because position has been taken my lord Twenty for two. No, 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 no. I only for compensation. I, I cannot ask for anything more. It only for lapse. compensation. Yes. They will calculate under the new act. Let us hear the statement. My, my lord, it has already been calculated. My, everything has been completed. My lord, may I humbly say, submit, my lord, uh, let them approach the authority. I will. No, my lord. Let me see how they are calculated. I read. It requires. Now it was the submission that calculation has not been made. What calculation has already been made in two thousand twenty thirteen, my lord. Please come. Fifteen, Malad. Malad, fifteen. Into. Why don't come back with the report in that case? Malad, 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 Malad. It is already been done, Malad. Malad, see. Which matter? This matter, the judgment of the Supreme Court. Yes, yes. Eighteen. Cannot, cannot be done. Cannot be done in the old act. Just can, appointed. Malad, uh, unless, uh, unless they approach. Because you are not found. I'm sorry. 
Maybe they calculate it. Thought generally comes two matters later. Too busy. Not like us. Yes, uh, the calculation, Mr. Dhar, in this one. They produce the calculation. Mr. Dhar is appearing, let us see. Calculation is a choice. Under which act? Compensation. Compensation of the So what? So what? But I have to, I have to go through this, otherwise I can't. Yes, please go through this and come. Because they say, what is? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Market value five thousand three hundred ninety six. But uh, that is that is to be considered. But the market value. Is that that is the metric value? Or if he is at all aggrieved, he has to go before the why? LA, LA judge. Why? Not why? here. Why? For enhancement, he cannot come here. Now, kindly come. Kindly come here, kindly Dada, bole di apna subida hai. Next thing, subida hai. Bolo, bolo. On our first page, who are the verified awardees? Who are not, not verified awardees? First page. Left hand side column, serial number, plot number, my lord. And the name of the awardees. Manod has got it in that Excel sheet. And the uh, 755 plot number 755 not acquired. Manod has got it. So no compensation can be paid. Now Manod on top Manod on the next page Manod form 13. That is the total awarded amount in respect of total plot of land. Now Manod kindly turn to the next page form 13A. Yes. That is the individual okay. name and the serial number and their market value and the uh, the breakups, additional compensation, solatium, all cost of the tree and everything. And on the right hand side is the total amount and then whether paid or not paid. Payment was made or not. Then Malad, every details Malad will get and Malad, let him go through it and come back on the next day. Now, after Suvide have a bullet, I mean, bullet in the next plane, Kordila, and Kontaki. Yes, please go through this and come back. Regarding Malad, uh, I again say Malad at the cost of repetition, if he is aggrieved with the compensation amount, enhancement, is otherwise. enhancement cannot be because no, no, of the cost of enhancement. Whether the, they have calculated under the Section 24, Section 30 of the new Act, that is to be considered. Okay. Not that for enhancement. If you are aggrieved? No, no, no question of aggrieved. That is the judgment of the Supreme Court. Can you see the judgment? I'm showing. If they say so. Will you please go through this and come back? Then Lordship. Will you go through this and come back? Will you come back on the next date? It may be that you are not aggrieved by the amount, isn't it? No, I am not aggrieved because it is not calculated as per the say, 13, uh, or 13 lakh. You still do not know whether you are aggrieved or not. Yes, I am aggrieved. Very much aggrieved. Because so are 5, you ready 000, for the... 5,000 cannot Are be... you ready to make your submissions today? Then I will deal with the matter today. You have just said that you wanted to go through this. If you have seen the document, we can deal with the matter today itself. Yes? Yes, do you want to then come back or keep it in next week? Next week, not possible. Status report submitted by the respondents due to action in WPA. 
তেরো <laughs> Not served. Uh, item delivered in the first one is the item delivered and 13 and 15 my landed prince is appearing. What about the other two? Item dispatched and a beat office. Not served. Well, He is we... appearing only for two. 
by the manner of the assistant engineer okay. by the block land and andy bomb officer demarcation was made by the vlr okay. the demarcation this is the notice manner with pwd land pwd land manner the notice manner the notice was manner kindly see the notice manner this is the notice with regard to the assistant no, no, no. engineer our purchase purchase assistant purchase. engineer directed the block land and andy bomb officer to conduct an area and the next one is the manner the notice with regard to the demarcation by the vlr the next page manner the demarcation was done Malad, let the Malad, my learned friend is directed Malad, to produce the Malad, demarcation report. Malad, everything will be Malad, the crystal clear. So what, what will be the Malad, the because my allegation is that in front of my landed property there is a PWD land. Where is demarcation done? This is a proposed date of demarcation. Yes, Malad, subsequently Malad, in terms of the notice Malad, the demarcation was done. In terms of the notice Malad, in terms yes. of well, there are several assistant engineers and executive engineers have been made party here. I have to take instruction Malad, whose jurisdiction is the, Malad, the first page, Malad, the assistant engineer who have been directed, Malad, who Malad, directed the block land and application to conduct the inquiry. The first page, Malad, that is the handed over. I am asking myself, Malad, is the BLR is the company not to market it? It needs party sign. No, no. There is no need. In respect of government land, Malad, the block land and application is a cannot demarcate the property. And in terms of the notice, my lord, in terms of the notice, the demarcation was done. This is junior engineer section 3. My lord, the, my lord, the authority is, Assistant my lord. Assistant engineer Kagdeep subdivision. My lord, the, my lord, the authority, my lord, is my lord, the respondent number, my lord. 7. 7. 7. Seven. Seven is Seven. the authority. 7 the authority. You filed a representation. Yes, I lodged the complaint, my lord, with the representation page 23 onwards. We put the Malad as engineer subdivision, subdivision page 23, my lord. And extra P2. And I have made also another sketch map with regard to my the... Since demarcation appears to have been made. Yes. That are you aware that demarcation has been made? No, I have I don't I got instruction yes. from my client in terms of the notice only the demarcation already held. If there is a demarcation, so in the event that there is an encroachment, let it be removed. Let the possible let proceeding be initiated. In accordance with the law. And you will be given an opportunity of hearing. In one one. Yes, ma'am. If it is not a PWD land, you are not you are safe. We are you not are not affected. Anything yes. on the government land. Let yes. it dispose of. Affidavit of service. The petitioner claims to be the recorded owner of the plot in question and submits that the private respondents have encroached upon uh, the pr private respondents have raised it, unauthorized construction by encroaching upon PWD land adjoining his property, comma, thereby obstructing his egress and ingress. Stop. The petitioner submitted a representation before the concerned no, uh, paragraph couldn't. Learned counsel for the petitioner submits that pursuant to a representation submitted by him before the concerned authority on no date. Uh, the 22nd 20, of June 2023. Stamp, they have received. On 22nd June 2023, comma, demarcation of the plot in dispute has been made by the block land and land reforms officer. Mundir Bajar. Comma Mundir Bajar, comma South 24 Parganas. Stop. <laughs> Paragraph upon consideration of the submission made on behalf of the parties, comma, this court is inclined to hold that in the event demarcation is made. In terms of uh, made pursuant to the representation submitted by the petitioner, comma, demarcation report be submitted before the assistant engineer Kagdeep subdivision, comma PWD PW within bracket roads department, comma being the seventh respondent herein, comma within one month from date. 
demarcation report yes, yes. paragraph if a uh, paragraph upon receipt of such report comma if encroachment on any portion of the pwd land is detected comma the seventh respondent is directed to initiate proceedings under section 10 of the west bengal highways yes. act 1964 and take the proceedings to its logical conclusion within two months from the date of receipt of the report. And the demarcation report may be uh, uh, circulated report? to all the parties. Uh, upon, uh, upon, affording upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all the interested persons, including the petitioner and the private respondents, comma, in accordance with law. supply the demarcation report. Direct to supply the demarcation report. I do not know whether demarcation has been held at all. So let, let it be, because he has also not got a report. Appear before the authority, they will consider. You can deeply object. Eta Firo Didi Mata. Eta. And deep. Right, I am for the private respondents. Respondent number 14 and 15. I am for the state respondents. Okay. 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 Who is the private respondent? My Lord, I am for the private respondent. All of them? My Lord, two, there are two private respondents, uh, 14 and 15. I am for both of them, my Lord. Uh, the state? It is. Yes. Super over. Lordship? No. no. There were two cases Lordship before Lordship. And incidentally, in both the cases, we are not made parties. Naturally, we do not have any knowledge of what the things were against me, what the things we should support to represent. The problem is, my Lord, and it is my accepted position, but this is my predicament of my life, that even after 70 years of, more than 70 years of my independence, I have not been in a position to make out my own heart. appeal against the earlier cases? Yes, my lord. No, I have not been so I have the things I have... It's confined your submission to the present case. Yes, my lord. Entire things... SDO took the cognizance, then it, it appellate authority, the district magistrate. I came before the district magistrate. Section 10. Section 10, my lord. And I made a total representation and the entire suppression of facts, what they made before the lordships. And entire facts, and they themselves are the encroachers, much more than what we are. And all these things. You admit that you are also encroachers. Yes, I'm also, they are also the encroachers. No, my lord. I, I'm coming. And I made the submission, and this time they allowed me. You please make a written note or arguments with all papers. I accordingly made my thorough submission. It is in page 101, my lord. It remains from page 101 to 118, my lord. Long representation, my lord. And when it was received on 2nd November 2022. And where is the order in queue? That very portion. Page 121. Page 121, my lord. <clears throat> my submission, my lord. This very entire submission. Till today remains unattended. So, not a speaking order at all. Yes, give me a minute, please. Mr. Dev? This is a 10 yeah, order. Okay, this is the my lord, very bad order. Uh, not speaking order at yes, all. Let it be set aside. Let them set aside the order and send back to the. Let them my reconsider. My lord, uh, my lord, may I submit one thing? My lord, this order, probably my lord, this order is not a speaking order, but this order 
in this order the order of the executive magistrate has been upheld my lord is that sufficient and, my lord kindly my lord just one minute my lord uh, order of the executive magistrate is upheld if the order was altered or modified or uh, set aside my lord reason was there my lord reason was required my lord after giving an opportunity of hearing all the parties my lord this order had been made my lord but if your lordship thinks to my lord uh, to remand it back but uh, kindly fix a specific time within which the matter should be heard out my lord completed because my lord aside i'll send it back on remand my submission is a lord kindly fix date my lord because they are i have heard your submission sir my lord yes my submission uh, lordship if lordship pleases to remand back to the district magistrate has my... to be this is a non speaking order it's a very uh, lordship in this situation my this submission along with this i have In... Uh, taken out, uh, got some information uh, under RTI, my lord. Okay, cool. All the things I may kindly be allowed to submit before the district magistrate. And I be. My lord, page 101 to 118 should be considered at the time of. And any addition, lord, they have the additional, additional information. Else, I have collected now through RTI. Page, my lord, every DM, my lord, it is a very bad practice of the DMs, my lord, that they are passing automatically. My lord, your lordship, in another case, my lord, your lordship was directed. I was pleased to direct the DM and DM passed a very reasonable order and set aside the order of the ISQ. After my lord, so my lord, your lordship will pass that order. I'll uh, ask him to deal with the. Uh, to yes. My lord, Al along with my uh, further submission, lord, what I have got through RTI, my lord. My lord, if, yes, my lord. kindly give us liberty to. I'll grant liberty to both the parties. My lord. Yes. Thank you, sir. Heard learned councils for the parties. The petitioners have assailed the order passed by the district magistrate Malda on 13th October 2023 on the ground that. The district magistrate has not taken into consideration the contention of the petitioner made in the petitioners made in the notes of argument submitted by them before the authority prior to the hearing. Stop. Paragraph on perusal of the uh, paragraph uh, on perusal of the order in tune, comma. It appears that. It is cryptic and bereft of any reasoning. Stop. The district magistrate has only upheld the order of the subdivisional officer Chachol without assigning any reasons. Therefore, stop. The written notes of argument submitted by the petitioners before the authority has also not been taken into consideration in the said order. Paragraph in view of the above, comma, this court is inclined to hold that the order impugned is required to be set aside. Paragraph, the repetition is accordingly allowed. Paragraph, the order passed by the district magistrate Malda on 13th October 2023 is set aside. Paragraph, the district magistrate Malda, comma, being the Respondent number? Three, my lord. Two, two, my lord. Two. I beg your pardon, my lord. Two. Being the second respondent here in comma is directed to revisit the issue and pass a reasoned and speaking order upon taking into consideration the written notes of argument submitted by the petitioners before the authority. When did you submit it on? 2nd November, my lord. 2023. 2022. On 2nd November, 2022. Yes, my lord. Stop. The petitioners and the private respondents are at liberty to place further documents, comma, if any, comma, 
in support of their respective claims. Malad, not for that document. All documents, my lord. Otherwise, my lord, they, kindly give they will ma come and say, my lord, yeah, I filed previously some documents. Oh, oh. No, my lord. But but kindly not, give us a liberty to reply. Make a reply, have, my lord. Of those documents. All the documents I have got through RTI. That the documents will show their inherent contradictions. Are at liberty to produce all relevant documents. Yes, my lord. Before the concerned authority in support of their respective claims at the time of hearing. Stop. The entire exercise is directed to be completed within one month. Within two months, my lord, because my lord, election is appeal. My is an appeal, my lord. Six weeks. Six weeks. I think, my lord, but positively within six weeks, my lord. Within six weeks from the date of communication of this order. My lord, uh, one submission, uh, most probably, district minister will not be in a position to exercise these things because parliament elections almost in the next week, uh -huh. week it will be called. Naturally, up to June or up to late May. The state says six weeks, sir. So I will not state... run more time. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I have no objection. But till disposal, the, no effect of the order be there. Hmm? State aside, sir. Ah, of this order. Upon hearing, will you Reason I am speaking order. Huh? And open it online Kuru. And affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to the petitioners and the private respondents. Comma in accordance with law. Tarpare at liberty to. Huh, huh. The petitioners are at liberty to. Huh. SD, SDO's order made me very state, my lord, till disposal. Yes. Yes, my lord. Uh, pending disposal of the appeal, comma, no coercive step be taken against the petitioners by the authority in respect of the plot in question. Yes, my lord. Get to my lord. Disposed of the public policy. Okay. 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 There are no orders to cause, sir. Bakit. This was the fucking police. My lord, the affidavit of service may kindly be taken. Thank you. Next. Six times for I'm appealing for the state, my lord. Is a very short matter, my lord? Yes. The petitioner and his mother got the patta under the scheme of refugee relief rehabilitation scheme and by the department. After getting the some difficulties arises, that my lord, the LOF number, LOP LOF, LOF number is, must be interchanged as because in terms of the position, the LOP is defective. That's why application was made to only... LOP in, is defective. Not defective, podi, according to position. That's why only LOF 143, it would be 144, and 144 would be the 143. That is application was made, page 19. And XRP3. It is wrongly recorded in the Patta. Yes. Only LOF number, LOP. I annex the document and accept P1. And thereafter, my lord, the last representation has made before the uh, district magistrate that has not been considered and disposed of. And except P6. Well, in fact, my lord, the, at the outset, my lord, in fact, I went to the lat. My lord, the lat says that the depart jurisdiction is what. That's why, my lord, come before this day once again. The only yes. conduct. Yes, I've been, my lord. Only only kindly concept. consider page 12, my lord. Ah, yes, I have annexed the document. Yes, page 12. Page 12, my lord, middle portion, may, may I read, my lord. And whereas the Doni was one of such persons who had come to use and occupy a piece of land particularly described in the schedule here in Earth. Yes, yes. Lordship, upon physical inquiry, this Doni certificate was issued, my lord. I am not disputing about that. And this. in the certificate, petitioner signed, my lord. Page... LP number in this LOP number, lord, lord, kind of page 13, my lord. Page 13, next page. 143 and next is 144. No, no, That's this is this is 144. 144. 144. Page 13. 
two plot was two piece of land was distributed among the son and mother mother was not made party here my lord it is wants to interchange the plot but she not she was not party here in mallar and thereafter after 28 years my lord this cannot be changed my lord what has changed after reading 10 years ago read code before coming to read code interchange with your mother with the mother's plot so the mother mother be, mother be called for a hearing in by representation i made the representation no but don't let the representation be disposed of yes lord, i will not going to marriage at all lord shiv after 28 years my lord they wants to change interchange due to land valuation uh, maybe uh, otherwise i would have given an order on merits directing the authority i am not doing that lord shiv let the authority take a decision yes yes upon giving my submission may be recorded my submission may be recorded yes giving upon opportunity to all the parties only the relating relation with the mother not other parties Adit. affidavit of service it is contended on behalf of the petitioner that the petitioner and his mother were granted patta in respect of the plots in question from the refugee relief and rehabilitation department though the petitioner has been in possession of the plot being LOP number 144. Plot 144, it will be 143 and 143 will be 144. No, no, the petitioner is in 144. Or 144. 144. 144. And his mother in possession of plot number 143, 143. comma. The petitioner's plot has been recorded as LOP number 143 and his mother's plot as LOP number 144. My lord, in the petitioner's plot is LOP number 144, my lord. Petitioner LOP number 144. Petitioner is actually in 143. It would be 143. Bolam hmm. Though the... 143 mother in 144 yes uh, a recording 4 4 it 144 and mother to 143 in the partners granted in their favor the petitioner submitted a representation for rectification in this regard before the concerned authority on page 19 date of your representation 11 january last representation 20th september 2023 where is the date and p6 with the sole authority it is p2 and p6 on 20th september 2023 huh, 20 which is yet to be considered Stop the petitioner prays for a direction upon the authority to consider the representation at the earliest. Paragraph Learned Counsel for the Respondents submits that the Pattas were issued before about 28 years. Lordship. 28 years and the petitioner has been possessing the land in question for such long period. Paragraph also not made it, party to his mother. To their, not also, to, comma, to the their, petitioner's mother has not been made a party to the writ petition. But to that respect, my Lord, expert submission, do the plot number, my client, uh, LOP number 144. But actually, yes, he is in position 143. I've recorded that. I've recorded that. I've recorded that. A paragraph, be that as it may, comma, this court is inclined to hold that since the representation submitted by the petitioner before the concerned authority is pending, comma. The concerned authority being the respondent two. Second respond the additional response. Lord. The second respondent here in comma be direct be directed to consider and dispose of the same same within one month. Lord. Within one month from the date of communication of this order upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all concerned 
including the petitioner and his mother, okay. comma in accordance with law. Paragraph, the decision other taken by the authority shall be communicated to the petitioner within a week thereof. Disposed of a check. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Next. Will we be appearing by the state respondents? I'm appearing for the petitioner. My lady, my teacher. This is the case, my lord, the petitioner. My lord, lastly, my lord, page comes to my lord, page 48. You'll also see past an order. What is the matter about matter, my lord? That there is a my lord, uh, latrine, my lord, which has been constructed by the right. PWD. In the in, in the front of the manner residential house of my Not second Mr. round of litigation and page 48 your lordship's order in the and, first round of and, litigation and the set latin my lord that there is a caused a huge smell bad smell we are many difficult to stay over there and there is, was a and um, uh, shop room which has been registered by the by the municipality so and i am running a business continuously and thereafter your pr has been uh, pwg has been rejected my pr and uh, directed to my lord and thereafter me order impugned is that page 53 page 53 let him copy let him copy the page page 53 my lord the order passed by the assistant here pwg my lord the after my lord the reject prayer and objection raised at the time of the construction of the my lord the latrine that there was a difficult over there, Latin and said, but some antisocial over there, man, they are trying to disturb also the position and there are four families man, staying over there. And this my Lord, Latin has been running for the purpose of, they are saying the purpose of public interest. There is no question of my Lord, the public interest, no my Lord, bus players or nothing over there and to stay the use the Latin. This has been my Lord, under lock and key. And also the money your lordship uh, asked for. The toilet is on government land. Government land, this is the government land. This is not, I am not disputing. You Objection. Do you have any authority to object? Yeah, object. Man, this is well objection. I at the time of the construction repeatedly I objected. Man, the, this Latin which has been constructed. How can you object a construction over God, on a government land? Government land, man, this is one difficult for stay. By the way, my lord, the residential complex, my lord, three to four feet after that, the Latin has been my lord, constructed by the for the purpose of public and in the shop room in over the man, in presence of the land, front of the land. So, my lord, uh, also my lord, the business of my way hampered for the lord, purpose of my constructing the latrine. Lord, bad smell, foul smell, foul that smell has not been ever in the repetition. Only allegation is this, my lord, is egress and egress is blocked. Egress. And in my report and in in the order impugned before your lordship, your lordship would found there is no blockage. There are two roads that there, are, two avenues that there, one mirror 21 feet egress, ingress and ingress, another is mirror 32 feet. Milot, uh, first, third, third paragraph of the order, Milot. So nothing, there is no illegality or informality in the order, Milot. Now he is alleging, Milot, bad smell. That is one of the, at the time of the construction that 1911, kindly see the one report. I have several times objected regarding that at the what time. What is of, your authority to object? That is my question. What is it, Lucas? My, my, my authority to object for the purpose of human habitation. Sufficient. For the purpose of the human habitation, I am objecting. All, to, uh, gov, all uh, public toilets are constructed in human habitation areas. No. They are not constructed in jungles or No, no, no. That, that is my, kindly appreciate that. This has been no my, no kindly no appreciate. No I have to dismiss it. My Lord, kindly the construction which has been made by the adjacent to my, my land. It is not adjacent, the demarcation. My Lord, demarcation, my Lord, they are they are my Lord, kindly see the superintending engineer. I lost my PR for your lordship assistance. One detailed report has in between your plot and the uh, constructed uh, toilet, 32 no, feet no. and uh, 60 feet uh, place uh, space is there. This is my Lord, the lastly, my Lord, read the item letter to the man, superintendent, superintendent, direct deputy secretary, directed superintendent to cause inquiry and to file a report. Well, uh, inquiry has not been conducted till today. No, no, no. This is a subsequent event. Subsequent event, my Lord, the, after that, I am the repeated correspondence has been like, yes, I have to come before this. Court. Yes, since you have no case. My Lord, this case is my Lord. No, the, I do not find anything wrong with the impugned order. Impugned or Kylie appreciate my impugned order. They have been my depicted the order impugned. But I my uh, submission is that the construction which has been made by the laboratory has not been my Lord the site of the my my land. 
মানে জাজ পিংস ওয়ার ইউল অরসি কাম আপ বিফোর দ্য আর্লি রিট পিটিশন ইউল অরসি ডিরেক্টেড টু কনসিডার দ্য পিটিশন ইট ওয়াজ ওনলি ফর কনসিডারেশন কনসিডারেশন দ্যাট ইজ দ্যাট দে হ্যাভ দে হ্যাভ নট ডিড নট গোইং টু মেরিটস বাট দে হ্যাভ নট কনসিডারড মাই পিয়ার হোয়েন আই হ্যাভ বিন অবজেক্টিং দ্যাট देयर ফোর ফ্যামিলিস ওভার देयर देयर इज अ बैड स्मेल व्हिच इज अ टॉयलेट ऑन वी वॉट एंड कंसीडर योर रिप्रेजेंटेशन passed by the assistant engineer comma pwd comma comma contai subdivision on 27th september 2023 na it is okay to be it is okay to be it is contended on behalf of the petitioners that will you go in respondent authorities have constructed a public oh. toilet adjoining the petitioners asset for apostrophe property comma thereby <laughs> obstructing their egress and ingress stop the public toilet also emits foul smell but that is not ever in the read petition that is not avert but it was caused submission from the board board the ingress is blocked not in the yes so your lot you would not take judicial notice of it that is my lot the that is that taking into consideration earlier it was the petitioners submitted a representation before the concerned authority in this regard which not being considered comma they came up, came up before this court in a writ petition being wpa 9738 of 2023 stop by an order passed on 17th july 2023 comma this court directed the concerned authority to consider and dispose of the representation submitted by the petitioners within a stipulated time frame stop in compliance with the said order comma the assistant engineer comma pwd comma contai subdivision comma by an order passed on 27th september 2023 comma rejected the representation of the petitioners upon hearing the petitioners in this regard paragraph the order impugned is based on a demarcation report submitted by the block land and land reforms officer comma contai hyphen roman 1 which demonstrates that the toilet block has been constructed in a government land and there are 21 feet wide egress and ingress of the petitioners plot stop also comma there is open 
government land, 32 feet in length and 60 feet in width. In width, between the toilet and the front portion of the petitioner's land, as it were, Mr. Paragraph. The toilet block has been constructed on government land and does not block the egress and ingress of the petitioners as alleged. Stop. Learned counsel for the petitioners also submits that the toilet block remains closed most of the time. Paragraph in view of the above, comma, this court is inclined to hold that the order impugned is a sufficiently reasoned order passed upon granting sufficient opportunity of hearing to the petitioners and there is no illegality or irregularity in the said order which requires intervention of this court. The writ petition being devoid of any merits, comma, is liable to be dismissed. Paragraph WPA such and such is dismissed. There shall however be no order as to costs since no evidence such a length happened. Report submitted on behalf of the respondents is taken out. Next. Lord Shri, I am appearing for the petitioner. This may be very service you, Lord Shri. Lord Shri, may be very service. The facts of the case is that in one plot 1568, I am the recorded owner's your lordship. Now, long back, your lordship, the LA department had acquired three decimals of that land. Who is appearing for the respondents? Not on the state. No, sir, I have served it, your lordship. No one is appearing, your lordship. Are there private respondents? Also? Lordship. I have served it, your lordship. Several private respondents. All of them have been served and they have, it is uh, being shown as delivered, your lord. Respondents number 12 to 17. Yes, served. Rashid, facts of the case is that I am the recorded on owner and the private respondents also own a certain share in that particular plot. Now, long back, the LA department acquired three decimals and subsequently it was transferred to the irrigation department. The irrigation department got its own name recorded in the LR ROR. And that particular three portion is in front of the entire private plot. Now, what is the private respondent is doing is that they have placed uh, wooden wooden bamboos and they have connected it by way of fencing, uh, tin fencing. And that thing is being done on that front portion on that LA acquired land. Now, because of that, what is happening is that I cannot enter into my own private plot. So, I subsequently made a representation before all the concerned authorities. The LA department, the special LA forwarded my complaint to the concerned irrigation department. I personally visited that particular office. Now, this LA, uh, the concerned official is asking me if there is any construction, Your Worship. I fairly submit that it is not a construction. What they have done is an it's illegal fencing. fencing. That on that too on a government land by a private respondent. Because of that, I cannot enter and exit into my own land. Your Worship, my only prayer is that to remove that fencing, Your Worship. private respondents are co-sharers. Uh, co-sharers, Your Worship. Not the exact private respondents. Private yeah, maybe their father or grandfather, someone, Your Worship. Your Worship, I've got pictorial representations also of that fencing, Your Worship. My only prayer is that that fencing should be removed from that government land. 83 is your representation? Page uh, 42, Your Worship. Page 42. The concerned official is the SDO Baribu drainage. Since it's government land. Government land, Your Worship. Situate. Page 42, Your Worship. Yes. Well, let it be considered after giving opportunity of hearing. Affidavit of service. None appears for the private respondents despite service. Paragraph. The petitioners claim to be co-owners of the okay, plot number 1568. Plot in question with the private respondents. Stop. Uh, private respondents and submit and submit that three decimals Three decimals was acquired. Three decimals of the plot in front of the petitioner's land, is it for apostrophe, huh? were acquired by the 
state and transferred in favor of the irrigation department in favor of the irrigation department stop the petitioners complain that the private respondents have raised a bamboo fencing bamboo and tin fencing a bamboo and tin fencing in the said acquired portion in the said tagadin in the acquired portion of the land adjoining the petitioners land comma thereby obstructing their egress and ingress stop the petitioners submitted a representation in this regard before the concerned authority on 16th october 2023 which is yet to be considered stop the petitioners pray for a direction upon the authority to consider the consider the representation at the earliest paragraph learned counsel for the state respondents submits that it should be 5 or 6 which respondent lordship it should be uh, respondent number 6 the lordship the sd of baripur drainage baripur drainage lordship the sixth respondent be directed to consider the representation in accordance with law what should be time period may be framed your lordship paragraph in view of the above the petition is disposed of directing the sixth respondent to consider and dispose of the representation submitted by the petitioners dated such and such within 3 months from the date of communication of this order Lordship. because Lordship. evidence has to be taken yes 62 act evidence has to upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all the interested persons including the petitioners and the private respondents comma in accordance with law disposed of which grateful you i because i am late by mr tokon mukherjee next prashant for the patient health equity of service who is appearing for the state state private, private respondent lorsha after filing this writ petition they called me for hearing i give you a minute yes. i went there lorsha after that they didn't, uh, they didn't took any step to who is appearing for the state yes may i have some objection sir who is the private respondent here? Private. no no there is no private respondent in the writ petition no rameshwar singh no no ha no sir private respondent is shanti ranjan das shanti ranjan is one number 9 lord sir 25935 shanti ranjan 5935 5935 oh shanti ranjan das and ranjan sarkar yes yes address of the private respondent Yes. By this, I am still not deciding here the decision of the petitioner. And the allegation is just by the side of the petitioner, the private respondent are. Can you kindly? The address and address. Can you see the address? Can you see? Can you kindly? You don't need to. You don't need to recite to stop the egress and ingress. Can you? I am not. Can you kindly not have a look page? You are raising on construction. That is no. not case. That yes, doesn't say that you are residing. Thirty seven lakhs of kindly look at this Next picture. Uh -huh. I am a pretty good student. Indian school. Yes, yes, please place your case. Lakhs of kindly have a look page uh, number thirty seven. There is a picture, lakhs. I have seen that. Yes. Before, I mean, beside that picture, lakhs, they encourage the PWD land, and my uh, ingress and egress will be. Uh, Lordship, stacking. That's why. So you have filed a representation. Lordship, Kali page. Page forty. Forty-two. Forty-one, forty-two. This is PWD land. Lordship. Then Lordship, they call for hearing. Here is the notice. After that, nothing has happened. Lordship. Why don't you appear before the authority? Let the authority take a decision. पंचायत एरिया 
Kasha, can you see this? If, if you it, reside at Barashad, don't, can't the respondents go I there and raise a don't. construction? Then you don't see But in the, no hair in the representation, the name of the private respondent has been mentioned. Can I keep one? That is my it is mentioned in the That is my submission. It is but mentioned in the writ petition. Mentioned in the writ petition. Lord if I stay, so, Park Sir has Lordship. If I have a sprawl over the Barashat, Lordship, not necessary. I have, I have been lived. That is also few persons. Then Lordship demolish the all structure, Lordship. Then you have few persons. What few persons? There are so many persons. Malad, I have received some instructions, man. Malad, there are illegal constructions. Now PWD's, PWD says. Whether all the illegal constructions are within the PWD area or not has to be demarcated. There has to be a demarcation, absolutely. Now, now, Malad, if your lordship gives an order, passes an order, that the PWD is going to do it, the PWD will not be able to do it because it, there are three particular wings which needs to work together. The BL and LRO has to come up, the demarcation process. The PWD has to give them an intimation. The PLRO comes, uh, demarcates. We find in that thing, then we go and do it in terms of Section 10 of the West Bengal Highways Act. Now, that is exactly the procedure. Now, Malad, I am, uh, what I am trying to tell, Malad, I am trying to speak out, Malad, that your Lordship can give an instruction that if there is any, any such encroachment and if there is a finding to that, to that effect, if it is not a private land, Malad, let there be a demarcation and the, the encroachment will, will have to be removed. My learned friend cannot say that the encroachment will be there and I will be, en be enjoying my business on the encroached land. The market could have been made a party. And if you can hear all over. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. <laughs> If it is PWD land, then the executive engineer deal with it. So, uh, there is already a request for demarcation, I find. Yes, yes. but Malad, the problem is, Malad, After that, let's the problem is, Malad, uh, I have been seeing this. I have been facing contempt also. Malad, the, the executive engineer states that you come and demarc it. Either they don't have the plan at times, the entire thing is not there, they have to get it from Nobana and all that. So, Malad, Executive engineer together. Otherwise, they will never complete the entire thing. I'll, I'll, I'll make it clear. Make it. Let the DLLRO be added as a party. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, affidavit of service. On prayer of the DLLRO. Yes. 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 Petitioners, petitioner claims to be the recorded owner of the plot in question and complains that some local people, you have not named the private respondents in your writ petition. Yes, that's not there. There is no allegation against the private respondents. Some None of local them are people parties. have raised unauthorized construction by encroaching upon a portion of PWD land adjoining his plot, comma, thereby obstructing his egress and ingress. The petitioner submitted a representation in this regard before the concerned authority on 3rd October 2023, which is yet to be considered. The petitioner pays for a direction upon the authority to consider the representation at the earliest. <laughs> Paragraph. Okay. Learned counsel for the private respondents denies and disputes the contention made by the contention of the petitioners. Paragraph. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Learned counsel for the state respondents submits that the block land and land reforms officer Barashat 1 Barashat-Loman yes. 1 yes, directed to demarcate the plot in question in order to ascertain whether the alleged encroachments are on PWD land and thereafter direct the 
एग्जीक्यूटिव इंजीनियर The executive engineer मतलब highway highway subdivision subdivision PW 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 roads Barakpur, highway subdivision, PW within bracket roads within department to initiate necessary proceedings for removal of the the same in accordance with law paragraph in view of the, uh, no, paragraph view uh, paragraph paragraph view view of letter issued by the executive engineer to the additional district magistrate and district land and land reforms officer comma not 24 parganas on 8 december 2023 is produced before this court which demonstrates that the executive engineer has requested the bln lr to make certain suitable arrangements the block land and land reforms officer to demarcate the plot in dispute paragraph in view of the above comma this court is inclined to hold that since the block land and land reforms officer has been requested to demarcate the plot in question in order to ascertain encroachment thereon comma if any comma the block land and land reforms officer comma being the sixth respondent here in comma be directed to demarcate the same upon service of notice to the petitioner and the private respondents uh, well, to, there are no private uh, respondents upon service of notice upon all concerned court yes, upon all concerned including the petitioner and submit a report to that effect before the third respondent within one month from date stop the th uh, in the event encroachment upon pwd land or any portion thereof is detected upon demarcation comma the third respondent is be directed to initiate proceedings under section 10 of the west bengal highways act 1964 and take the proceedings to its logical conclusion within 2 months from the date of receipt of the demarcation report upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all concerned including the petitioner comma in accordance with law i am grateful one of the owners can file no difficulty disposed of which are are five to owner hole ki hobe ek to owner hi jotheshto one
मैं टाइम बी हाफ ऑफ़ द पिटिशन है पे आप फॉर नॉट स्विच यस कंप्लाइड लॉर्डशिप आई मैं पीरिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ़ स्टेट ऑफ़ बिहार सुरेंद्र कुमार एडवोकेट लॉर्डशिप बी है ऑलरेडी फाइल अपील इट इज़ लिस्टेड बिफोर डिवीजन बेंच लॉर्डशिप कैंडली एड जॉन टू वीक्स The state government has already filed the appeal before the division bench. So the appeal is pending. Is the, let it go out of list for the time being, with liberty to mention. It is submitted on behalf of the parties that the state government has carried the order under contempt in appeal, which is pending. Paragraph in view of the above. Let the matter go out of list. Stop. Liberty be mentioned. Liberty to mention. Chief, I am appearing on behalf of the state. I will. Eight hundred seven also. Yes, both matter. Yes. Here also appeal is pending. Same one. Yes, order. both both matter. कॉम्प्लाइड यस यस आई कॉपी Submitted on behalf of the parties that the order under contempt has been complied with. Paragraph in view of the above, the contempt application being C P N such and such is disposed of. Paragraph there shall, however, be no order as to costs as in certified person. <coughs> Next. <laughs> Let I time. Let I am here with the petitioner. Yes, I want. I pay for time. I pay for adjournment. Why? Senior advocate is not present. Why? 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 एक्सेप्शन Yes, access to all. Is there? My name is. My it is item number eight one zero. Eight one zero. Mr. Sen is appearing. Mr. Mr. Sen, sorry, my lord. Extremely sorry. My lord, due to connectivity problem, my lord, we can't reach my lord to eight and nine. Sorry. One quantum matter, my lord, already complied with. Yes. This further. This further. Thank. Get full minute. That the last page we don't want matter is pending since long. <laughs> so whatever it may be, kindly see the last page. Well, well, one week and because matter is pending. <laughs> Only for exception, man, was that? You are filing your exception today. Yes, sir. Today, today. Exception used by the petitioner to the report in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record. 
paragraph, the private respondent seeks to use an affidavit to the against the uh, to the said exception. Paragraph, let the matter. Now, Isha Tattalainat Kurun, Learned Counsel for the State Respondents, seeks accommodation. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 5th April. Let I am behalf of the petitioner. Let PRFL not to do. Where is your exception? You are the petitioner? My lord. On prayer of the petitioner, the matter is adjourned. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 8th April. Online is correct. No matter this matter was last taken up by your lordship. <laughs> Um, on 9th February 2024. Yes. And on that day, practically, I have concluded my submission. Yes, I have taken note of it. Now, mm -hmm. Mr. Yes. Devra is to make his submission. Yes, yes. Yeah. Give reply. My lord, I, I am only submitting, my lord. Identical issue, my lord was pleased to <coughs> pleased to dispose of the identical issue. Mr. Bondopadday, my lord, handed over the judgment of this. Of, of, of your lordship, my lord, lordship, can you see? I don't know what is the judgment. Please go through the judgment. Identical issue that is approval, the not required under section in pages in the pages of section 682 as well as section 72 is there. Mr. Sahara is appearing for the petition. Copy the unreported decision. Yes. Identical issue. Here also, uh, authority. Prevented from uh, approval, then my lord she was pleased to hold that. Then, then my lord I identical. Come back, Mr. Chatterjee. Yes, come back. Yes, will. will you go through this and come back? Naturally, I I, I do not know. Mr. Bebra will be back yes. by then. So I do I do not know what is the issue there and what is no, no, the same identical issue. Approval is required, then the petitioner come to the court and Lord Chief, my lord was pleased to finally no, no, no. This is this Upper is upon extension and curtailment of the route. I believe no. No. I yes, believe yes, no. identical issue. See, this is only approval extension. is required. Yes, no, yes, no. I appeared for 71 at no, one no. stage. I know the identical issue. I, I, I know it. But regarding approval, question of regarding approval. No, no question of approval. approval is required or not. This then is, court this decided is only, no question of only for curtailment. My Cartelment case or extension and curtailment is same which is regarding approval. Minute, I am not. One minute, Mr. Debray. My case is extension and cutment, which is no, 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 no. completely uh, prohibited in terms of the judgment of judge delivered by my lord as Dotto. The judgment I have handed over to your lordship. The Honorable High Court has decided it can't be possible. It is not permissible in the Motor Vehicles Act. What my learned friend is saying. Page two. First paragraph, the operate the petitioners are operators in route number 71 from Howrah Moy Howrah to Moish Matan. Major portion of the route lying within the domain of regional transport authority, Kolkata. The petitioner applied for diversion of the route Howrah Moydan to Rajabazar instead of existing route Howrah Moydan to Moish Matan, which was accepted by the Secretary Regional Transport Authority in the meeting on 5th May 2011, subject to approval of the transport department. Yes. Proposal of yes. the for permission 
to pry 50% of the route on rotational basis from Hawaii Mahadev to Rajabhat was also accepted, subject to post-factor approval of the Transport Department. The Larned Council for the petition was taken by this court, Section 68 of the Motor Vehicles Act 1988, which envisages the state government shall, by notification of official case, constituted for the state transport authority to exercise the discharge power and functions under Subsection 3 shall in like manner constitute regional transport to exercise and discharge throughout such area as may be specified in the notification in respect of each to regional transport authority, the powers and functions conferred by or under the chapter on such authority. Darnet Council also placed reliance on the provisions laid down under Section 72, which deals with the grant of stage carriage permit as... This is cutlement as well as section 80, subsection 3, which re with regard to variation of the condition of the permit by the inclusion of new route or routes or new area by altering the routes or routes or area co covered by it. According to Larned Council, since the state transport authority and the regional transport authority have been vested with the power to deal with the proposal of the petitioner, the approved the post approval of the post of transport department is not required for accepting such proposal. Section 68 of the 1988 empowers the regional transport authority to deal with the issuance of permit and alteration of the route as independent authority and there is no provision under the law which requires approval, post approval of the transport department in this regard. Legal sanction to such approval, post approval has not been sustained by the respondent. Upon consideration submission made on behalf of the parties as well as the law on this point, this court inclined to hold that later dated 12th May, the 12th May 2011, accepting the proposal of the petitioner for diversion of the route Howda Moidan to Raja Bajar instead of Howda Moidan to uh, uh, Mohit Banan, subject to approval of the transport department. The portion subject to approval of the transport department is yours the law and to be expunged. Similarly, the later dated 15th July 2011, accepting the request following the plying of 50%, etc. Et so, my lad, this is in respect of the, the original route is from Howrah Moidan to Mohish Badan. Now, it will we, it will be up to Raja Bajar. It will not go to the Mohish Badan. In respect of my route, it is not that. Question no. of post facto approval is there? It says the principle is the same. No, no, no. Yes. Post facto approval in respect of this cutlement. Mm -hmm. Not equal. Post act and this this route is under covered under 713A. Yes, yes. Ah. Yes. So Malad, this this is in respect of this is permissible in the law. But the judgment I have handed over to your Lordship, in that judgment, the Honorable Justice Dipankot has come to the conclusion that in respect of same action, the cartelment and extension is not permissible. This is in not the case, challenge. Approval is changed. Whether government approval no, 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 or no. not. In my case, this is Mr. Chatterjee's case. Cartelment and extension. Both. That is not permissible. That is also my one of the main points. Yes. I have argued. Mr. Debray ought to have answered. I, I may, no, no, may no. accept that the it, it is not required. Well, subject to condition that this section says it's not uh, the authority is empowered. But your Lord see kindly see one uh, notification issued by the Transport Department Government of West Bengal regarding this, that no permit should be issued or all these things. That notification was not placed while your Lordship de decided the issue. That notification I have enclosed in the read petition. That notification was not taken into consideration. That, that is 2008. That, not, that, that notification is, is not applicable to Mr. Chatterjee's case. After Whether it the, is applicable after or not, the action is over, decide. then notification was published. No, no, no. That is not the rest of the That will be decided by okay. my lord after hearing Mr. Debray. One line submission, that application, that notification is not that applicable. Notification. That will not suffice. Why it is not applicable? Let him explain. I have explained thoroughly why it is applicable for my case. Let him explain why it is not applicable. Shortcut manner is not possible, my lord. I am not, not going to shortcut. I am not going to shortcut. I am go through it, then they are no, 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 no. Why it is not applicable? Let him explain. Let me know it. Let me educate it myself.
no matter the, the pcs in respect of approval i understand this judgment is acceptable subject to the condition your lord sir has to reconsider that thing whether the subsequent notification subsequent notification is uh, how far it is binding or how far it is applicable because so, debra will you make your submissions today or will you come back on uh, the next day yes. next any day next any day i shall i shall place my lord this notification is, is not applicable mr chatter very well let, let him place I, I i am not any day lord sir fixed any day let him come back let him come you lord sir kindly give short date because my clients are not protected by any interim order <laughs> And last, uh, I have made submission on nine two. I forget all my submission. I rang him to thrice. What I have submitted, I totally forget everything. <laughs> Then he remembered me that this is this thing. He's a good submitted me. He's a good assistance. Is there? No, no, no. Good. Well, after all, I become too old. Da, I have to accept it. <laughs> I am also young. <laughs> yes, yes. Everybody, because our batchmen who are in your lordship seats, all all of them have retired five six years back. <laughs> but still, I would request you not to call yourself old. <laughs> no, it may, it may, it may be. But I am not calling myself old. Fading down. <laughs> Because age is only a number. <laughs> no doubt, but memory is fading down. And none of you look old. Because <laughs> <laughs> of regular appearance before the court. Absolutely. That has not sitting in the high residence. Absolutely. That Absolutely. is the reason. That's the reason. Yes. You need to be active. Yes, that is the reason. That's the reason. Let, let, uh, first week of uh, April. My lot, ninth April, April, first week of April. Then Mr. Debra will be busy in election. <laughs> That's the whole trouble. I know it. The <laughs> election will be announced. Mr. Debra will be busy in election because one of our close friend, Mr. Kollan Bandhavade, is contesting. Definitely, Mr. Debra will go there every now and then. Fifth, fifth April. You know, ninth of April, my lot. May make make it on ninth of ninth of April. Ninth of April. That go, that go, that go, that go. Tuesday. Mr. Devan undertakes to remain present in court and not well. go for the elections. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. I will. <laughs> let, let, let I will. I will. Must oh. fight fast for oh, no. this court. No. no. Let, let the let state respondents. The matter is adjourned. Paragraph. Let the matter appear under the same heading on 9th April. Both the matter. Both the matter. Both the matter. Deep problem. Zero. 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 What happened to? He is not supposed to tell you. And you are also. I am sorry. You are not supposed to ask the court officer also. Give a chance, sir. Girl. No, no. Bashu ke jigesh kuch. Ah, adil da. Bokhala me only. What is his submission? It has been adjourned. Like to bolly. এটা কত কবে বললে জানো 99 ওই যে রোল লিস্ট এটা কত অর্ডার তো আছে यस हु इज अपियरिंग फॉर द स্টেট यू आर फॉर द স্টেট ইউ আর नॉट बट आई एम अपियरिंग फॉर द পিটিশন यस नो नो सप्लीमेंटरी अफिडेविट Has already been served to my learned friends' clients. Where is it? Have you filed it? I wish it. Yes. Yes. What is the matter about? The matter about regarding overlapping by another bus timetable. Now, Lord, kindly skip over to page twenty-two and accept P five. Private respondents. They are not. They have chosen not to appear. Very, very well. Yes. Now, Lord, page twenty. They are all along in appearing. Mr. Page twenty. Choose not to appear. The court cannot help. Page page twenty two of the read application. Yes. This is a hearing notice. Uh, now, Mr. Page three of the supplementary affidavit. Paragraph four. <laughs> Let them pass an order and let it be communicated to my client. Page three of your supplementary affidavit. Paragraph four. That I have also recorded. It's stated. Uh, it has not been disposed of. Has he? The hearing has been concluded. The order. Well, let them communicate unless the communication is made. 
Lord, I do not know what is the stand and where I am. It was a complaint against the provisional timetable. Exactly. Filed by you. Exactly. None appears for the private respondents. It is contended on behalf of the petitioner that order perspective. Hearing was held by the authority. So that uh, pursuant to the complaint submitted by the petitioner against the provisional timetable in respect of bus number WB67 capital C 0632, hearing was held by the concerned authority upon service of notice to the petitioner and others concerned. Stop. But no decision has been communicated to the petitioner by the authority till date. Stop. The petitioner seeks a direction upon the authority to communicate the decision taken by the authority at the earliest. Paragraph. Learned counsel for the state respondents submits that hearing has been concluded, order passed, but the order is yet to be passed. Paragraph in view of the above, comma, the petition is disposed of directing the secretary. The secretary. Secretary Atti. The fourth respondent to dispose of the complaint submitted by the petitioner by a reasoned and speaking order and communicate the same to the petitioner within two weeks. Some Within three weeks from the date of communication of this order. No order has to go a second time they no order has to go sir Baki Pinto. Dispose of the word Next. Obliged to lose. Obliged to lose. Lordship, in this matter, I am appearing for the petitioner. Your Lordship directed me to file the exception, but the exception is not ready. Kindly give me some time to file. On the earlier date also, you sought Yes, time. Lordship, I am not well. That's why. Learned counsel for the petitioner seeks further extension of time to use the rejoinder as sought. Paragraph as a last chance. Lordship. As a last chance, the prayer is allowed. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on... 12th April. Lost. 12th April. <clears throat> but I'm appearing for the petition of my Lord. Why am I appearing, my Lord? The report. Mr. Debra, you are supposed report, report I have already submitted before your Lordship, my Lord. Today it is being submitted. Oh, sorry, sorry, my extremely sorry. Man. Other side has already given. Sorry, sorry, my extremely sorry. You have received copy? Oh, yes. Mr. Bhattacharya? Yes. Hey. Where is the report? With this report, by no document has been served. So the specific order was that that the along with report... this is the document, my lord. This is the communication between the my lord <coughs> e-filing e communication between oh, the department. <laughs> that is that we have I have annexed in the report which is, and authenticated by uh, the with, secretary. With this, with this no no annexer. Authenticated by the documents have been served. Page six seven. 
Last night has been served also. No, without any. You lost a kindly habit. Page 6, 7, 8 is not there? Last night has been an extra plan. Page 6, 7, 8 is not there in the report? Hey, you can see it. 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 You have not annexed the documents. My lot copy also. No, no, no. In this copy, it's there. Oh, Mr. Bhattacharya. The copy given to Mr. Bhattacharya, it's not there. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Definitely. I have. Here, my love, permit has been cancelled. My yes, his his allegation during the when you during the existence of one permit. Why yeah, his application was not considered? Why not declared vacancy? Already cancelled. Thereafter, Mala ST decided to <coughs> notify the said group. Then Mala he applied for the same. This is my respectful submission, my lord. How much time one route is to be notified, my lord? That is that is the ST authorities <laughs> decide. Now, we are not the authority. We are not the transport authority. No, no, just now I cancel. Just two months ago. 18th August 2023. When you applied, the cancellation process was not complete. My lord. My they said no vacancy, isn't it? No vacancy. No vacancy. But but now it but is complete and no, they lord, I, I have applied my lord, in terms of the vacancy as published in the web, website of the... He stated in the report that it was wrongly declared before cancellation of the permit. But deep low placement. Till date, no corrigendum has been passed. Till date. No question of corrigendum. Dr. Kylie, have a look at no such... Corrigendum has been has been uploaded till then. Uh, I I submitted my report before the court of law. And and, and the vacancy is still my lot continuing. So at present there is a vacancy. Present there is a vacancy. Present there is a vacancy. It, apply. it will be it will be my lot, uh, notified and he has, he has to apply. Because it's an interstate route, my lord, he has to not notify, otherwise, my lord, then dispute is coming. We are, we are people coming, then these people coming, this is the difficulty. Lordship, can I fix the time limit within such time, notification was published, then, my lord, they will kick it. Vacancy declaring uh, no, uh, by notification. Otherwise, my lord, everybody knows in the website. Otherwise, my lord, if you don't know. Let it be published within two weeks. Within two weeks, when is possible? Election after election is declared. I do not know whether it is. Not the picture. Let it us is, it, it, it is. It is. It is court court decision. Yes, yes. Court order, my lord. We have to follow. We have to follow. Mr. Bhattacharya, let it be declared within two weeks. Yes. Where your lordship annexes six. Page six. Page six. Yes. On 18th August 2023, my matter has been rejected on the background of that there is no vacancy. Yes. Your Lordship, STA, STA, my Lord, the Nomita Chatterjee applied, my Lord, when it, it was accepted on 23rd August. No, my Lord, on 23rd August 2023, there was no meeting. There was no meeting. How it could be accepted? After 18th August, my lord, on 23rd August, no meeting was held. And cancellation of, cancellation of the, permit cannot be accepted by the secretary himself. Yes, secretary empowered. Should be accepted by the board. But cancellation and suspension authority were totally delegated the power to the board. The cancellation was by the secretary, not the board. No, no, board, board my lord, forwarded to the secretary for cancel the permit. No, that is why it's a cancellation. He, 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 no, no, he cannot argue on behalf of the Nomita. Nomita has already cancelled. His allegations are regarding vacancy. Vacancy now is clear. I mean, when, when Nomita applied on surrender, that has not been expressed. That is, that is the technical, that academic, academic, academic issue. After, after, totally after, academic after, issue. Kindly consider this aspect. After Nomita Chatterjee applied for surrender his permit, I applied. Yes, but the process was not complete. The process is not completed. It, the earlier... After the process has been completed, the vacancy has been added. Yes. No, no. Vacancy yes, has been added on 30th June. Please go through the document. 
process was completed on 23rd August. My Lord. Says by mistake they have announced the vacancy earlier. By so mistake. You cannot take advantage of that. You lost the queue. You lost it. No where it has been. It has been stated that the when it has been accepted. No where. Second paragraph, page six. Matter was processed to EOPs and her prayer was her prayer was accepted by the secretary ST on twenty third August. Yes, and your application was prior to that. But where is the that resolution order of twenty third August? Are you challenging it in this repetition? You have not challenged it. But this this matter has been placed by the, by way of a report in this my it well it in this in my it application. Yes. You must be kindly consider this aspect. But look, the order dated twenty third August has not been arrested with this report. If you want to make a further delay of the matter, you can. I'll call for further reports from the authority. If that helps you, it's fine. What will be more helpful for you? But my application is pending. My vehicle is even idle, my lord. Yes, yeah, so you want to keep it idle for a longer time. That is your submission, actually. If the authority is called upon to file these documents, it will take some more time. Instead of that, and, and my if the authority declares vacancy within two weeks, and you are per permitted to apply before the authority. Will not that save? Will that not save time? Well, since, now it is your choice. Well, since 18th August, 23rd August, my lord, when this prayer has been accepted, vacancy has date. not been declared. I will, date. No vacancy, my lord. I will direct the authority to. If you get agitated, you are not following what I am saying. Yes. There is no use. It will only increase your blood pressure. Nothing else. No, <laughs> not help you at all. Let the authority declare vacancy within two weeks from uh, communication. And, and my, lord, and my, lord, applica my application, my lord, uh, should be considered, my lord, on that vacancy against that vacancy. You have to apply a phase. I have to penalize, my lord. But I have applied on the terms of, in terms of the vacancy declared by them. It is their invited mistake, but due to their mistake, I should not be suffered. Let the application be reconsidered, Mr. Devra. Yes, my lord. Well, that will save time instead of asking ah. for other documents. Third learned councils for the parties. It is contended on behalf of the petitioner that though a single vacancy existed in the route Howrah to Rachi, comma, the, uh, comma, his application for grant of Interstage, interstate, Inters, stage interstate, carriage, yes. interstate stage, stage carriage permit Mild. was turned down by the authority on 18th August 2023 with an observation that no vac vacancy existed in the said route on that date. Paragraph. Placing reliance on the uh, report in the form of affidavit submitted by the Secretary, comma, State Transport Authority, comma, West Bengal, comma. Learned counsel for the respondents submits that an operator named Nomita Chatterjee holding permit in the route Howrah to Rachi applied for surrender slash cancellation of her permit, which was accepted by the Secretary, comma, STA on 23rd August 2023. Stop. Before such process of acceptance was completed, comma, the authority inadvertently declared a single vacancy in the route in question. On 23rd June. On 23rd June to 2023. On 23rd June. That is not vacancy. stated in uh, 30th. Sorry, we're at 30th June. On 30th June 2023. Stop. Page 50. The petitioner's application was turned down on 18th August 2023. Since there was in fact no vacancy in the route on that date. Upon cancellation of the permit of Nomita Chatterjee, comma, a, a vacancy has arisen in the said route, which shall be notified by the authority shortly. Paragraph upon consideration of the submission made on behalf of the parties, comma, this court is inclined to hold 
that since one vacancy has arisen in the route Howra to Rachi via Bordwan, comma Durgapur, comma Asansol, Dhanbad, and Ramgar, and Ramgar, comma, the concerned authority being respondent number three, my lord, being the third respondent here in comma, be directed to issue notification declaring the said vacancy within two weeks from date. Stop. Since the application filed by the petitioner was rejected on a wrong, rejected uh, due to a mistake made by the authority and for no fault on the part of the petitioner, comma, the he will consider. The third respondent will consider. Second respondent. Second respondent. Second, the second sec respondent. The second respondent be directed to reconsider the application filed by the petitioner. Dated? My lord. Application. The date of your application? Dated. 28. I'm... Twenty nine December twenty twenty two. Yes, my lord. Dated twenty nine December twenty twenty two. No, my lord. This is the wrong. Yes. For it, for it, for it. Declaration of the said vacancy. For it, for it. And this was twenty seventh. My lord, sorry. Twenty seventh March, page fifty one. My lord, twenty seventh March, twenty twenty three. Page fifty one. Twenty twenty three. Page 51. That is the first application. This is the second application. First application was also rejected. Uh, dated, this is 20... 27th March 2023. This is the last resolution, my lord. Page 50... 51. 57th March 2023. Have a date. Huh? Keep <laughs> Yeah. Dispose of the same. Hearing is necessary. Yes, yes, lord. yes my lord. It is necessary. Hearing is e necessary. Everything is there, my lord. Hearing is necessary. STA board also decide the issue. Upon a uh, new grant, uh, upon affording road. reasonable opportunity of hearing to the petitioner within one month. After within, the declaration, uh, after declaration within two months, because during the election, my lord, no <laughs> board member was there. This is a big penalty. Political man, Mr. Bhattaji knows. Two months, my lord, my lord, my lord. Two weeks and six weeks, or two months. <laughs> so, within two bargain, months, bargain. Two or months from the date of communication of this order, comma, in accordance with law. Yeah. Uh, from the date of uh, declaration of. Uh, from the date of declaration of uh, vacancy, of uh, the vacancy, comma in accordance with law. My lord. Deep the, decision, the decision taken by the authority, paracode, shall be communicated to the petitioner within a week thereof. Disposed of which Deep I'm sorry, my lord. Next. You will only increase your blood pressure, nothing else. <laughs> Unnecessary. Nothing Academics. Else. Who, else. who will do? Who will do? <laughs> You have high blood pressure. It can be made out from your subject. Ah, regular client is there. That I is why, my lord, it is something. No, no, please take care. Please take care. That's a dangerous thing. Please take care. Next. <laughs> take another record. Is this necessary? I don't think so. Original copy the file actually. Hi, it's our copy. No, no, original file. Report the file actually. Next. Let I appear for the petition. I'm not. Yes. Yes. Not, uh, the petitioner was wanted to take further instructions. Yes. They were, Milo, with regard to a later, Milo. But, 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 uh, not...
not this is that termination yes milot without milot uh, the clause on a clause which is not applicable yes, in your yes. case my clients are yeah no calling the track report they are going to they uh, write a letter to the department track report of what they say milot they have attempted service on me of that later one later milot okay. by way of pit Speed post, post, but post. they they did not they did not collect the track record. No, but they should pay like this. Yes, and but benefit of doubt in favor of the petitioner. Because they said that hundred. I just indicate, Milad, why this letter was necessary, Milad. Milad had seen Milad without notice. That was your point. A, no, Milad, without notice, Milad, and they, my in their reply, Milad, they have relied upon this letter. Then report, they have relied upon a letter of ninth of January as page one forty nine. You were served. Yes, I was given a notice to start resumption. Milot, I said I have not never received. Today, Milot, he is unable to. Milot, they are unable to show. Milot, it was actually served. You were blacklisted also. I have blacklisted without notice. Yes, without notice, and I have re relied on edition equipments on the first day of Milot the hearing. And in between, Milot, they have given to it to a third party, the tender, and they have forfeited my entire Milot the security was, and they are Milot enjoying that amount. Tender was and already gone. Yes, and that was done, Milot, when my read petitions, pursuant to Milot, five minutes, ten minutes, I have filed a read petition. That was pending. Each day, Milot, respondent came and sought for an extension of time to file a report. While this was pending, Milot, they issued a termination notice. Milot, their termination notice, two clauses, without notice, I cannot stop. Milot, if your lordship for once, Milot, take the termination, Milot, that is that 78. page 78. And my letter for stopping is page 80. 30th December, I have given them a notice that I'll stop and then I have stopped. Milord, on th from 30, 20, th 31st. Milord, you see the termination letter at page 78. The second paragraph is important, Milord. Letter under intimated at C. Shiva Prakash, before disorder of LVPH by train number 8180451800 has commenced the loads operation of Salimar on 24-7-2023 and the said leaseholder successfully loaded the VPH till 30-12-2022. After paying the freight on 29-12-2022 from 31st-22, leaseholder has stopped up and suspended the lease operation. Now, we note the two clauses. 8.4, if the leaseholder after commencement of loading fails to operate the contract continuously for 10 days without giving any notice, this contract... Notice. Will... And Milot, that notice is at page 80, Milot, 30th of now, December. So, Milot, this clause could not have been made applicable, Milot. I, and Milot, they have forfeited my 35,51,397. This is the last paragraph, Milot. And accordingly, all they have also debarred from participating in the future. Yes, how do you respond to this? The leaseholder had served a notice upon you. Where is the service of your notice? Millot, uh, at the bottom, Millot, it, page 81, at the bottom, Millot, it was served by hand. The man, ah, Millot, yes, yes. senior division and commercial. Uh, service lost it. May I submit one to I submit my submission. Thereafter, give me some time to submit my Submission there after it will not be Let's come to the letter. Yes. After this letter, this is our letter. I served this letter. Time to come to page 189. My exception. After this. Your report, yeah, so uh, etc. Not 189. Yes, this letter was this uh, served by my client, but this is two speakers. This is my lord, uh, client Laguna. They did not receive the collect the leave. They are after they uh, write the letter to the department for tracking report of the but 
hundred days are crossed. That's when they did not give anything. But Lord, the one thing in the clause, if there is any problem, kindly ask party of the repetition. Not given. There was there is specifically indicated that if they have any problem. The fifth third arbitration clause. No, Lord. Appeal to me, Lord, no. the divisional. Page no. thirty, yes. Thirty page uh, plus seven point two. Yes. If the leaseholder desired to arrange leave on any day, he shall be required to give notice. Let us say twenty third of this advance before the scheduled departure of the train. To the chief personal, chief personal surveyor of the organizing center, which copy to concern division donor. But the letter was, he write a letter to the commercial manager. Since if the, if the placeholder he, desires to avail leave, he is not desiring to avail leave on any day. How is this clause applicable to him? But you kindly come to exception report exception page 84 last paragraph the second last paragraph we also drawn your child attention because they did never receive this letter but in my so why how can you rely on this letter how can you rely on this letter but you please my submission is received. Please uh, show me that he has received. This is our letter. Otherwise, it is not is departmental letter. So you cannot help, isn't it? It has but to be. Please write a letter. As per my instruction, they should write a letter to 7.2. What does 7.2 say, madam? What does 7.2 say? If the leaseholder desires to avail leave on any day. The leaseholder has not desired to avail leave on any day. And Lordship, as per seven point two is not applicable at all. Lordship, as per agreement, when he applies in the in the notice, he should all uh he says that. Some, yes, uh, tell me. Tell me. Yes. In the... I'll give you all the time. Tell me. Relevant submissions, please. Yes, but the petitioner is that he participated in the tender procedure. And he specifically said that in the tender procedure, the station was not indicated. As in Petition is three, para three. The petitioner states that respondent number five year had floated a tender being tender certain such for lease of the parcel van of 20, 23 tons capacity of round trip basis for transportation of cargo by train, uh, Shalimar Hyderabad East Coast and five years Shalimar Hyderabad and back. It is important to note in this context that the said tender notice from Friday as to at which intimate station loading and unloading will be permitted and the bidder was not permitted to fix the name of the station wherein the bidder wished to carry out the operation of loading and unloading. But in the said option, Kindly come to page, page 20, the process. May I just cut short, Lord. This was not the issue in the repetition. This was the, the, the earlier repetition pending there. which... Participated, my submission is this. He participated in the tender process. And after... Basically, he executed a agreement, an agreement, and thereafter he should 
Thereafter, suddenly, another tender notice now, and thereafter, he said, it is not possible for me to stop his time is five minutes. Give me ten minutes. That was you know, challenge in the earlier read petition, which I withdrew because of the termination. Here only the termination letter has been impugned. Which is in the agreement. He is challenging the terminator. Within the agreement, lawsuit. He is within the agreement. No lawsuit. He is challenging the termination letter. Yes. Do you think the termination letter is in terms of the agreement? No lawsuit. But we cannot deal with the entire agreement and the uh, starting of the contract and all that. That's over. I think you can only claim return of the deposit at the moment. today, Milot. The deposit yeah. along with Milot the interest because it has been terminated. Milot, the long back they are enjoying the interest. This is not a poultry sum, Milot. This is 35 lakhs rupees. And Milot, the provision of appeals will not apply here. For appeal, provision for appeal. Where is that provision? Against termination? Uh, yes, yes. Milot, but that is not apply because if Milot, the, there is a violation of principle of natural justice because it's coupled with Milot the. And yes. You were not hurt by the. Uh, you were not given an opportunity of hearing, no notice, nothing. Noting. Principles of natural justice violated. Petitioner was not heard before you terminated. There should be a notice, isn't it? Which you cannot prove. That is that is the difficulty. And there is the arbitration clause. You are aware that the court can deal with matters even when there are arbitration clauses. Settled principle. Notice was served. Substantiate, madam. Please substantiate that the notice was served. Nothing else. Not possible for me. But so you are by, so served. no use repeating your submission. After this uh, uh, letter, can it be on guess and conjecture unless you unless you show? Not we cannot just decide on a guesswork, isn't it? That it was served. Problem. This is the main problem. So let it be disposed of. You have to return the amount with interest. Yes. Where is the violation? Please show me. Which condition has been violated? She is going back to that pilot whether 5 minutes, 10 minutes at all could be made applicable. But today this is not a challenge. I made a challenge before your lordship that was pending. Pending hearing of that, I, that is in terminated. Today, Milot, I cannot Milot, proceed with that challenge because unless my agreement is not live, Milot, I cannot continue with that challenge. That is why I withdraw the life. yes, I withdraw the read petition and Milot, I challenge this termination letter. So that argument there is the not... violation that uh, you are pointing to. was filed by the petitioner earlier petitioner was filed by the petitioner we are not on the earlier petition madam please confine your submission to the present red petition
yes milo da milo da i'm opposing okay. it today milo there is nothing milo today how can you prove on this with time it's been pending why, for long milo my submission by the clause which clause which violation please show me Which clause? What kind of violation? Uh, page forty-five of twenty-five one of the description. You know, this is the termination clause which they have quoted in the order of termination itself, Milord. You know, that will let him let let her come. Page forty-five, yes. Yes. In case of any contract, whether it is on short term or long term, the case he does so, he shall be forfeited and he shall be. Given from the entering in, in any tender for the uh, for next two years, but she shall be allowed to offer tender of other pay if any. The legal holder can only notice for termination of contract after completion of ten months. Thus, ten. Uh, Plus ten months, plus two months notice period equal to twelve months. Provide will be completed. Complete. Has the leaseholder terminated the lease? He has only stopped operation because he was not able to. This is when the leaseholder wants to terminate the lease. Please show me one line in the letter which says that he is terminating the lease. Has the lead ho lease holder terminated the lease? He has only stopped operating. Stopping of operation is not equal to termination. Yes, Lord. See, he said he is that he get that last spera. I humbly request that the commercial authority of Kharagpur Division and South Eastern Railway kindly refund my security deposit amount of rupees thousand sir. Yes. Further, I am unable to continue the above. Please cancel that contract. From that. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yes. Before that, he is giving discontinuing contract. On the same date, you have done it. Not on thirty. Not the law. The law is if I have continued, stop without giving notice for ten consecutive days, then only one eight point four will be triggered. No, no, no. Yes, no. you have Milot. to serve notice before ten. No, Milot. Kindly see Milot eight point four. If the if the leaseholder after commencement of loading fails to operate the contract continuously for a period of ten days without giving any notice. No, no, no. Yes. That notice was given. Yes. But you have given a termination notice. No, Milot, I have not. Why have you asked for refund of them? Milot will kindly read the earlier paragraph. I say, unless you can, Milot, Milot will see. This is my last and final representation to Kharagpur Division, Commercial Department, and South Eastern Railway Commercial. On Thursday, why what am I going to stop lease parcel when loading? You have given several representations prior. Yes. To that. So this is Milot and desperate item. Kindly look into my difficulty. This is never Milot. The termination lister has to be specific. I am terminating, invoking. That is a desperate attempt, Milan. And what I am doing is clear from the next page that I'll stop. Let me pass an order. That's all. My exception gets with in my report. Last bill. Plus, plus, if 
Repayment of lump sum lease right being compulsory under the scheme respective of parcel, uh, partial and non utilization of lease parcel pays by the leaseholder except in the case of case of leave or restriction of mention under paragraph of the circuit. Have you taken this point in your uh, or in the order impugned in the termination letter? Not even in the order impugned, not in the report. And this is, has no relevance in the matter. This is a payment well, it's a live contract. Prepayment of lump sum lease. I, I, I have paid and I serve the debtor. My daughter will serve the debtor. But the, uh, madam, repetition of your submission will really not help you. You have said at least 50 times that you have served the letter. Similar to the order impugned. Please. That's all your submission? That's all? Consider what? No, no. No question. Because you have already leased it out in favor of someone, someone else. Oh, not if this uh, tender was not. So now he cannot, yes. No, any tender. So only thing is you have to refund the amount. That's all. He kindly direct the office consider the, uh, this letter which is written by well, That cannot be considered as on date because that was... How considered? He is asking for uh, loading, unloading permission for more than five minutes. This could have been considered when the lease was in uh, operation. It has expired now. Logic. Uh, then he uh, admitted to uh, loading and unloading five minutes. Thereafter, suddenly another tender came and they never said, give me uh, 10 minutes time. That part is over, madam. In the earlier repetition, which was withdrawn. You have to stick your, you have to confine yourself only to the termination letter. The clause which is stated in the letter is not applicable in his case at all. Termination letter will be set aside and you have to uh, refund the amount uh, with interest. Third learned counsels for the parties. My submission you are aware that arbitration clause does not debar the petitioner from coming before a writ court. That is settled principle. My submission is later. I will indicate it is there but not served. My submission is the late first served. I record. Thereafter, by authorities. How will that help you? I'll record that you have, you say it's served. It will only add a few lines more to my order. Nothing. It will not help you any further. Being the highest bidder in the tender floated by the respondents for leasing of parcel van of 23 tons capacity on round trip basis for transportation of cargo by train number 18045-18046 Shalimar hyphen Hyderabad East Coast Express for a period of five years, comma. An agreement was executed by and between the petitioner and the railways on 8th July 2022. Upon the petitioner depositing, this is called earnest money. Yes, the security deposit, Miller. 
depositing security deposit to the tune of rupees three five five one nine three nine seven thirty five comma fifty one comma three ninety seven. Stop. The petitioner was unable to carry on operation despite paying lump sum rate since he was not granted permission for loading and unloading at the en route stations. The petitioner submitted, uh, the petitioner intimated the same to the authority by a letter issued on 30th December 2022. which records that several communications were made by the petitioner to the authority seeking grant of permission for loading and, unlo and unloading in en route stations where the train stopped for five minutes and more. Five minutes and more. Stop. The petitioner stopped operating on and from 30th December 2022. Stop. By a letter issued on 12th January 2023, comma, the assistant commercial manager for the senior divisional commercial manager, comma, Kharupur, terminated the contract of the petitioner, the lease agreement of the petitioner, contract na kore, terminated the lease agreement of the petitioner with immediate effect, comma, forfeited the security deposit and blacklisted him, comma, preventing him from entering into any tender for the next two years. Stop. The said termination letter is assailed in the writ petition. Fair. Learned counsel for the petitioner submits that the grounds on which the termination letter has been, uh, on which the agreement has been terminated, are not applicable in case of the petitioner. And also, comma, no notice was served upon the petitioner prior to blacklisting him. These are your short submissions, yes? Paragraph, Learned Council for the Respondents submits that though a letter was, is was issued upon the uh, petitioner prior to blacklisting him, comma, the authority is not able to submit any document showing service of such letter upon the petitioner. Also, comma, the petitioner has violated clauses 8.4 clauses, the paragraphs. Paragraphs, it should be clause actually. Look, in the agreement, the, it is clause, but what she has she sometimes has relied paragraph. upon the policy. So, it, that will be paragraph in the policy. Paragraphs 8.4 that is clause, clause and 25 these are all and these are all clauses not of the clauses 8.4 and 25.1 of the agreement 
for which the agreement was terminated, comma, security deposit forfeited, and the petitioner blacklisted. Paragraph. Clause 8.4 of the agreement enumerates that if the leaseholder, comma, after commencement of loading fails to operate the contract continuously for 10 days without giving any notice, comma, his conduct will be terminated, his contract will be terminated and security deposit forfeited. Stop. Paragraph. In the case in hand, comma, the petitioner served several notices upon the authority stating reasons for which he was facing difficulty to operate the contract and finally intimated the authority by a letter issued on 30th December 2022 that he was constrained to stop operation due to such difficulties. Therefore, it cannot be said that the petitioner violated clause 8.4 of the lease agreement in any manner. Stop. Paragraph. Also, comma. Clause 25.1 of the agreement deals with the right of the leaseholder to terminate the agreement after serving 60 days notice to the railway administration. The clause lays down certain conditions to be fulfilled by the petitioner prior to such termination. Stop. In the present case, comma, the petitioner has not sought to terminate the contract and has only requested assistance of the authority so that he is able to operate the contract smoothly and without in incurring any loss. The letter issued by the petitioner does not express the intent of the petitioner to terminate the contract. Therefore, clause 25.1 is also not applicable in case of the petitioner. No other reason has been assigned by the authority in terminating the contract of the petitioner. Paragraph. Learned counsel for the petitioner has placed reliance on the authority in Hesser's Erucian Equipment Purutan reported in uh, 1975, one Supreme Court cases 78. Hmm? Wherein? Paragraph, the Honorable Supreme, yes. Paragraph 20. Yes, yes. Wherein the Honorable Supreme Court has held that has held as here under Gordon. Paragraph 20 to quote Gordon. Paragraph in view of the above, comma, this court is inclined to hold that the authority was not entitled to blacklist the petitioner without serving notice upon him or granting an opportunity of hearing to him. Stop. Though the respondents have tried to impress upon this court that such notice was 
served upon the petitioner, comma, they have not been able to substantiate their cause by any cogent document. The grounds taken in the letter impugned dated 12th January 2023 also do not apply in the case of the petitioner and as such have too weak a leg to stand upon. Since uh, no, okay, again. it is not in dispute, paragraph four. It is not in dispute that upon termination of the contract of the petitioner, comma, fresh contract has been granted in favor of a third person who is operating in the same route. Stop. Since the contract of the petitioner was terminated without any valid reason and the security deposit forfeited and the petitioner black, blacklisted arbitrarily and illegally, comma, the letter impugned dated 12th January 2023 is required to be set aside. Paragraph accordingly, the letter in tune dated 12th January 2023 is set aside. The concerned authority, who is the authority? Not the senior divisional commercial manager, Milot. He's... Respondent number? Not just five. The fifth respondent is directed to refund the security deposit of the petitioner to the tune of rupees 35 comma 51 comma 397 along with bank interest thereon to be calculated from the date of order till payment of the amount to the petitioner from the date of termination it's terminated in long January 2023 January, enjoying the month. It's more than a month. More than uh, a year. From the, more than a year, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, from, calculated from the date of uh, issuance of the termination letter till payment of the same in favor of the petitioner. Disposed of future. And Milad, also with regard to Milad debarment, petitioner will be at liberty to participate in future content because of debarment. I've set aside the entire things. Uh, need or can line add code. Needless to mention, that the petitioner will be at liberty to participate in all future contract in all future Tender. tenders floated by the authority. Great. Sorry, madam, no case. That spoils everything. So, so that now. is important, isn't it? That is important. That is important. You can and write a letter and keep it in your desk. Next. Yes. Petitioner? But item seven. I, I am appearing. Mr. I am appearing respondent. But I, I need one week time in both the matters. But I file a supplementary <laughs> affidavit disclosing the fact that these those who are odd operator operating well, on the interstate route, the yes. number of the uh, the vehicles which are operating. But I need well, data is collecting. Well, it will take some time, one week time. Well, well, we well, have filed a report well, stating. <clears throat> Stating all the things, including whether STO secretary direct requested the di di <coughs> director, public department, as well as the motor vehicle inspector, non uh, uh, enforcement to seize the vehicle. My lord, already taken steps. My report is there, my lord. That's it. Kindly see my report. Vehicles which are touching Babu Ghat. 
touching babugat yes, yes, after the what I, I 16th, so, after 16th 2016 where is the touching babugat where is the document okay, i have i have but but this last is last thing, my report, the report. Principal, Yes, in the I report, have statement. I statement, my lord. I made a statement in the statement, my lord. I shall, but I shall show, my lord. This I made by the authority. Number. I shall show the numbers of the vehicle along with the photographs. I have collected, my lord. Let me give some time so that I can file till date. They are operating till date. They are operating, and those permits have been granted after, my lord, 2004 notification, which have been restricted the my lord, central business district zone. Which has been restricted under notification of. not granting any permit. This is my submission. It is not the case. My case is that they have been granted my lad, permit to operate the vehicle from my lad, my lad, Satragachi to other states. They are ending their, they are ending their my lad, operation at Babu Ghat just beside the Malat Eden Garden. Lord Sip direct the direct. Mr. Mr. Devra, direct the director of Paragraph 9 says that you have instructed the police authority to my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. direct the Kali direct the district uh, deputy commissioner police to take necessary steps that is for solve the purpose, Mr. So I will I will produce Malat the document, those who are still yes. operating Malat I have collected. Let only you, one week, Malat, I am asking only one week so that I can place the na names and the buses' names as well as the number of the vehicle and the photographs, which properly... Let him come back. Milo, Milo, Milo. 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 Council for the uh, petitioner seeks extension of time to use the supplementary affidavit as sought. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on... 10th, 10th, uh, 10th April? 10th, 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 10th April or 11th? 10th April. My lord, my lord. My lord, 18 and 19. Same matter, my lord. Same my order. Same order. Same order. 819, same order. <laughs> Please, my application, my lord, the petition, my lord. My lord, on the other day, I submitted my lord, habitual service. I looked into the service I could not properly four five six. I could not properly assist your Lord Sir. kindly come to page six of the avenue service. This is Bihar. It has been served, Malay. Your Lord Sir, kindly see in the middle portion two two twenty four. Partner secretary, bid number four. Item delivered to office addressing. In all three services have been affected. One is item dispatched. Manu, I, I couldn't follow. After addressee having received, delivered, how does it appear? Manu, I, I, I cannot explain to your loss, Manu. How? Your lots of item delivered to office address. Oh, yes, yes, it is delivered. Yes, yes. So please place your case. <clears throat> but they are the answering respondents, I think. I have that service has been there, my private respondent. Yes, Malad, in this matter, Malad, the petition people lost it. He is an interstate operator on the route Sahasa to Siliguri. Malad, interstate agreement executed in between states of West Bengal and Bihar. I'm pursuant to that interstate agreement, my Lord, permit has been issued in favor of my client. My Lord, in the, on the part of the status of the West Bengal, my Lord, permit has been issued in favor of the respondent by each. On the same route, Silguri to Sarsa. My Lord, I have, I have raised an objection. My Lord, legal objection according to my client, my Lord. My Lord, whether in, in the interstate route, frequent division of timetable can be made or not. Well, after the permit is countersigned by the state of the West Bengal under section 883, because permitting authority and the countersigning authority are having the same power. Well, while countersigning authority would be countersigning the permit, he is, that authority would be having all authority like that of the original authority. Well, after the permit is countersigned, if that is valid, time table, well, Countersigning is allowing the approval of time to be made jointly. 
immediately thereafter, the time table of respondent by is varied. Mother, there is a provision for variation. Section 88, Mother, Mother, you lost the candidacy. Section. <clears throat> Seventy two 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 X X I I Uh, Mr. Shamunto, I think well, it will take some time. No, no, no. Very short. We are already in. I pray for the only reconsideration. The order passed by them within a month. If you lose the kindly, section seventy-two two X X I I. If you lose the kindly, I will answer. They have power for variation, but they have to seek compliance of section seventy-two two X X I I. Yes, a one. A notice is required. One month's notice. Yes, but. Instead of securing compliance of that statute provision, they are making frequent, frequent division. That is objected. And my client made a representation, objection before the authority. And it's P2, page 29. Instead of considering that objection in full, the Secretary of State authority confined his consideration in respect of the stringency of the response of eight. Nothing more, nothing less. I submit before law say, the objection raised by my client may be reconsidered by the secretary. And the order passed, impugned order P3 may be set aside, ma'am. You are lost the kindly see. Very pertinent question was raised. After the execution of the agreement in compliance of section 885, 886, when the permit is being issued, and it is sought to be countersigned, everything complied. Whether the authority, other authority, can revise the timetable frequently. Well, section Rule 118 of the motor vehicle rules, West Bengal motor vehicle rules, well, provides for that the timetable is always provisional. But that provision cannot be made applicable in the interstate route. Because the other authority is of the Bihar state. Well, West Bengal motor vehicle rules, 1969. Uh, 1989 may not be applicable in that case, ma'am. Malak, may I lost it? I'll take it up tomorrow, ma'am. You lost it. I submit, my lord, the order passed very without considering the objection, my lord. They confined only to the stringency, not to the merit of the matter. Whether the authority has having frequent division of time to. It's not a reasoned order at all. In my So, Lord Smith, you at page 32. You were given an opportunity of hearing by yes. Mr. Yes. yes. But in spite of that, my Lord, what like Actually, in view of the allegations, it is rigid. No, kindly can, can have a look at page 32, my Lord. Region order is there. Page 32, yes. yes. What is the reason? Well, but two allegations were there, my Lord. One with regard to the statements. They are rejected. And con concluding portion is not. In view of this, it is rejected. In view of all, if your lordship so desirable, or direct the authority to rehear the order. There is a recent order upon hearing the petition. Yes, yes. Let them approach. Let direct them to approach before the authority, my lord. My lord. Om boy tandram or jidram. Affidavit of service. None appears for respondent numbers four to eight despite service. The petitioner is a holder of a permanent stage carriage permit on the inter interstate route. Chahorsha S A H A R S A. Chahorsha to Siliguri.
issued by the fifth respondent and duly countersigned by the second respondent in terms of section 88 within bracket 1 of the Motor Vehicles Act 1988. Stop. The petitioner complains that one of five mile in my favor. Yes, there's a number of five. Yes. That permit on the interstate route has been issued in favor of the eighth respondent who is not a resident or citizen of India, who is not a resident slash citizen of India. In violation of section 72, next bracket 2, XXII, next bracket, of the, of the Act of 1988. Stop. The petitioner submitted a representation in this regard before the concerned authority on 15th September 2023. And upon hearing the petitioner, comma, the authority turned down the representation by an order passed on 3rd October 2023. Stop. The said order is assailed in the repetition. Paragraph. It appears from the order impugned that... The allegation of the petitioner has been recorded therein. And the representation has been disposed of. Only by recording. That inverted comma open forum, in view of the above allegations made by Srimoti Mita M double -E ETA M double -E ETA Sharat S H A R A T against timetable of P stop S T S capital T small stop capital P zero eight slash twenty twenty within bracket capital I S bracket closed and invalid citizenship of Sri Harpal Singh has been considered and rejected. <clears throat> Stop, invert, comma, closed. The order is bereft of any reasoning whatsoever. Paragraph in view of the above, the order impugned dated 3rd October 2023 is set aside. Paragraph, the concerned authority being Respondent number? Three minus. Three minus. Being the third respondent here in comma is directed to revisit the issue upon consideration of the averment made by the petitioner in the representation dated 15 September 2023 and granting reasonable opportunity of hearing to all concerned, including the petitioner and the private respondent, and pass a reasoned and speaking order. <laughs> and pass a reasoned and speaking order within one month? one month. Within one month from the date of communication of this order, comma in accordance with law. The Lord Shiva Paras recorded the response number seven has not appeared. Lord, I am repainting the seven also. Lord, seven is the officer in the Mati Gara police station. Lord, oh, so Bihar is not appearing. No, Lord, it's West Bengal, Lord, Darjeeling. Oh, four, five, six, and eight. My Lord, four, five, six, and eight. Uh, the decision taken by the authority shall be communicated to the petitioner within a week thereof. Disposed of which at yes.
Here it is. What a time for the, the KMD. I understand. There are two 330 there. Two 330 meters. So, whether I understand that it will continue, I have spoken to them. What is the other matter? Three did you do that? Excellent. Is that excellent matter? That should not take time for the after the first matter after that. So also the plan can be very well just on that. I've been waiting for that for a long time. So this matter will be taking some this, time. This will be yeah, this, a review. This, today we got other matter maybe. Let me release other matters in that. Except for item number one, for the except for four, four, <laughs> except for eight forty. In case eight forty is called. Uh, and I am yes, I am opposing. So 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 between that we can talk. No, because there are two three thirty matters. Those two are, I am there, and also eight forty eight can be. So, except eight forty eight, not to release all of the matters. In case, in case these get over. Hello, Don. Yes. on the other day, Milot, I have placed certain facts from the read petition. And uh, time was over on the last occasion. If your lordship, I will invite your lordship to my affidavit in opposition. Give, give me a minute. Yes. Yes. So, my lord, uh, from the read petition, my lord, the certain facts, including some some of the provisions of the list date, I have, my lord, placed. My lord, before I go to my, uh, my lord. Uh, affidavit in opposition, only one page from uh, the read petition may I indicate, Milord, page 76, Lord you kindly have it, because that is relevant. The provision for penal charges was not incorporated in the list date. Page 76. Page, page 76. If it, Lord you kindly sees that authority had granted extension of time Milord, may I read these few lines, Milord? I am directed to inform you that the competent authority in KMD has allowed your prayer dated 3rd May 2010 for extension of time up to December 10 for commencement of construction of works of your project. As per, Milord, I will be emphasizing on this, as per, the K, as per KMDA policy, you were asked to pay penal charges at the rate of 10% of the current land value that is 15 lakh per kata for the period extended since your stipulated commencement date as per your license deed is over. So the notice itself indicates that the charges being levied as per policy of the KMD. Miller, this policy was never questioned by the petitioner. Petitioner, Millard, uh, that uh, on the other day, Millard, I have placed, Millard, the whatever demand we have raised, they have paid. You've this, to this earlier. Yes, I have, I'm not repeating this, Millard. Millard, so this provision was not incorporated in the, either in the li license deed or in the lease deed. But the charges were made, Millard, as part the policy of the authority for grant of extension 
of time. My Lord, I will invite your lordships to the policy. My Lord, these are the facts, my Lord, we have placed earlier in the, in the read petition also. I'm not placing this up to execution of the list deed. Lord, she kindly come to paragraph uh, page 30, uh, page 13 of the uh, of my opposition, affidavit in opposition. I am not placing the earlier facts, Millard, which are reflected from the red petition itself. <coughs> May I read, Millard? Uh, give me a minute. Voluminous records. Affidavit in opposition to the KMD. Affidavit in opposition affirmed on 12 June 2019. Affidavit in opposition. petition. Yes. My Lord got it. So, my Lord, straight away come to page 13, paragraph for you. 1 3 13. 1 3 13. Before that, my Lord, up to execution of list deed, the facts are narrated yes. there. I am not repeating all those facts. <coughs> you. It is audio of being mentioned here that the land and flat allotment committee of the answering respondent authority being the KMD in its ninth meeting held on 20th January 2009 had proposed in agenda number six for imposing penal charges for extending the time to the effect that the allotees in case of HIG, MIG, LIG, EWS, COBRD and also in bulk land often pray for extension of time beyond the specified time for commencement as also completion of construction, which are considered case-to-case -case basis. Presently, there is no provision for imposing and or charging penal interest for extension of time beyond normal period. Imposition of penal interest for extension of time in respect of the bulk land or residential plots has been placed before the said committee on the grounds that the same will ensure more seriousness and sincerity in their project projects. After elaborate discussion, the said committee has approved the proposal with the recommendation to make suitable modification in the land and flat allotment policy and to place it before the pricing committee for fixation of the rate of penal charges. The pricing committee on such proposal being placed before it after elaborate discussion in its meeting dated 12 February 2009 approved the same. Subsequently, in the 159th authority meeting of KMDA held on 27th March 2009, the aforesaid decision was duly ratified in its agenda number 13, whereby and where under the said decision to impose penal charges was made applicable to all cases, including past cases who have not taken up construction till date, and where construction is going on beyond the stipulated period of the lease or license deed. Then, my lord, uh, next paragraph. The pursuant to the, I have uh, annexed the policy. I'll, I'll I'll show to your lordship. Pursuant to the decision having taken in the 159th meeting of the authority, as aforesaid, the pricing committee in its meeting held on 25th June 2009 in agenda number three prescribed the rate rates of penal charges in case of commercial and non-commercial plots of land. Such, such recommendation of the pricing committee was subsequently ratified in the 160th meeting of the authority held on 29th June 2009. The pricing committee, the next paragraph, I, I shall Milo, place the relevant portion from the uh, resolutions. Then Milo, the pricing committee again, in continuation of their earlier resolution in its meeting held on 19 December 2009 in agenda number four, approved the rates of penal charge, uh, interest charges 
yeah, in case of industrial allotes and the manner how the same will be charged. Such recommendation decision of the pricing committee was subsequently ratified in the 162nd meeting of the authority. Authority means the board. board. Uh, authority held on 31st March 2010. Thus, the demand of penal charges and penal interest thereon were imposed on the petitioner number one for their delayed commencement of construction as also for not paying the penal charges in time were absolutely in consonance with the policy decisions of the authority as aforesaid. The petitioner has also accepted the same and paid the demanded amount ultimately. And then only the lease deed was executed. After payment of the penal charges, the lease deed was executed by came in favor of the petitioner number one. Thus, after having paid the said amount of penal charges and penal interest as demanded by the authority, and after acceptance of the lease deed executed in its favor, the petitioner, I'm sorry, the petitioners now cannot turn around and say that the said demand was either unreasonable or they are entitled to get refund of the said amount as they are stopped by conduct. Melod here, Lashiv, now Lashiv, kindly come to the policies I have read, I have annexed. Only I will be showing Milo the relevant portion from that. Milo, uh, Lashiv, kindly come to page 32 starts the resolution of the ninth meeting of the LFAC. Lashiv, the relevant portion, state where Lashiv, kindly come to page 33. As in the number six. Yes. Proposal for imposing of penal interest for extension of time. The allotees in case of HIG, MIG, LIG, EWS, and cooperative, and also in bulk land <coughs> often pay for extension. Miller, what I read, Miller, I have quoted. I am not troubling your lordship. This is the initially the uh, uh, LFAC, page 33, 33, 33 opposition. Then your lordship. Kindly take the next this resolution. The yes, the this was the proposal. This, this was, was proposal. This was approved by the LFAC. And this was incorporated in the policy later on. My lord, the policy. These these are the uh, committees will have formed under the under under section twenty three of the Town and Country Planning Act. This this proposal was placed before the the committee LFAC, which decides the mode and manner of allotment. Etc. Milord, that com com that committee, Milord, after elaborate discussion, Milord, this approved, but that is not the final. That has to be ratified by the board. Then this decision was taken, but at what rate? Then the then the matter was placed before the pricing committee. This is also a committee formed under the provision of the Town and Country Planning Act. The page thirty four is the pricing committee resolution of the pricing committee. Milot, how and at what rate? What would be the rate? That is, that would be decided by the pricing committee. So that resolution, Lashi will find, it starts from page 34. Milot, relevant portion, Lashi, kindly uh, turn to page 37. Initially, Milot, land and flat, flat allotment committee, this proposal, the, after discussion, they approved that proposal. Now the question comes at what rate? Now it's procedural. Yes, procedural. Then pricing committee fixes the rate. Plus you kindly uh, turn to page 37, as in the number four. Yes. License deed, lease deed, license, this is penal charges for extension of time. Lease deed, license deed ex executed with the lessee specify a certain period of, for commencement of execution of their project in many cases. Both the residential plot holders and bulk land allotees cannot start the construction within the specified time. It is felt that granting them extension of time with some penal charges will ensure greater seriousness of the work. Ninth LFSC, which I just now placed, Miller, LFSC proposed suitable amendment in LF policy for utilization of the penal charges clause. After detailed this deliberation, the following rates were approved for extension of time for commercial 
and non-commercial user. Then Loshi will find the table. Next page. Commercial and non-commercial. The rates are prescribed. That up to extension up to five years, two percent, then five to ten, five percent. Then if it goes beyond ten, then ten percent flat. So these where sub, this uh, has to be ratified by the board, then the matter was placed before the board. Plus you kindly come to the page 40, it starts from page 41, the resolution of the board, the proceedings. This is 159th board meeting, Miller. Plus you should, uh, come to the relevant portion at page 45. There are some other issues, Milot. The particular issue was dealt, Milot, at page 45, agenda number 13. 30. May I read? Ratification of the minutes of the minutes of the meeting of the pricing committee held on 12 February 2009 in the chamber of the Honorable Mayor, Kolkata Municipal Corporation, and Chairman, Pricing Committee, KMDA. The decision arrived. The decision of the pricing committee held on 12 February 2009 was ratified by the authority with the following amendments. Agenda number four, the rate for penal charges for extension of time to be fixed, rate for commercial as well as non-commercial uses, the penal charges for extension of time as fixed by the pricing committee to be calculated on current land rates, the penal charges for extension of time as fixed by the pricing committee to be levied at par annum rate. Next is very important. This penalty shall be applicable to all cases, including the past cases who have not taken up construction till date and where construction is ongoing beyond the stipulated period of lease or license date. Then your lordship, I have stated in, I have just now read, lordship kindly come, come to page 50. Milot, after this uh, re resolution of the board, Milot, decision of the board, the pricing committee revised that. Plus, you can relevant uh, portion, plus you will find at page 51, as in the number three. Yes. Then, under the agenda number four, the pricing committee held on uh, 12 February, the rate of Penal charges for delayed initiation of construction was recommended. The matter was then placed before the 159th authority meeting for approval. That is the last one I have placed. The authority has made certain addition. That is why the pricing committee had to revise it, <coughs> which were placed before the pricing committee. After elaborate discussion, the following recommendations were further made regarding the penal rate of extension of time in both commercial and non-commercial categories. Now the lawsuit will find in the table, the rates were recommended. This was, my lord, again placed before the authority, the board. Lawsuit uh, at, at page 54. Because this was the recommendation, the board has to approve it. The 160th Board meeting Miller held on 29th, 29th June 2009. This was considered. Let's say at page 55 at, at the top, as in the table number two. My Lord will. Yes. The ratification of the minutes of the pricing committee meeting held on 25th June 2009. So this was ratified, ratified by the board. Then, Milord, another document, Milord, may I please? The, uh, that I have read, Milord, uh, uh, I have stated in my uh, paragraph 4W that the pricing committee, again in continuation of their earlier resolution, Milord, approved the rates of penal charges in, in, the, in case of industries and the manner how the, that will be charged. Milot, the, the pricing committee, again, Milot, 
deal with the matter millet and the relevant portion millet at page 59 plus you will find that how the penal charges will be imposed millet that has been prescribed. Yes. The agenda number four, rate of penal charges. In continuation of the penal rate fixed by the committee in, in its meeting dated 23rd June, below the earlier I have placed, for extension of time for those LOTs who did not commence construction within the stipulated period, the pricing committee approved the following rates. Then in case of industrial, 10%, in case of, in case of institution, 8%. It was also decided the penal charges will be imposed for the period beginning from the expiry of the stipulated time as mentioned in the lease or license deed up to the date obtaining completion certificate from the KMC. So this resolution was once again had to be ratified by the board, plus you will find from page 61, the board had approved that resolution, the recommendation. Plus you will find page 62, serial number 32. Yes. 32. So this, the provision, though not incorporated in the list deed, the authority had decided, has had, had taken a policy decision in accordance with law. And in terms of that policy, the demand was raised. The petitioner paid that amount only with the rider under protest whether under protest or without prejudice would be the same, same thing that I have. That's a different thing. So it, the facts remain, my lord, the petitioner has paid the demand charges. And only after payment of the charges, the authority had executed lease deed. And in the lease deed, there is no stipulation that they had paid that amount under protest Regarding refund or recovery of that, no provision has been made in the list. They, they had not insist the authority rather to incorporate such a provision. Rather, Milord, they have accepted the list deed without any reservation. So after acceptance of the list deed, after execution of the list deed, Grievances, if any, with regard to payment of penal charges, no more subsidies. The right, if any, reserved by them that by putting the word under protest, that has been waived. They have acquiesced their right so reserved by them, by themselves, by accepting the listing. My Lord, I have Milos, from this, from the these facts, Milot, Milot, I shall be arguing on from the from the facts of this case, Milot. The point emerges, Milot. Firstly, say whether. The petitioner can be allowed to hesitate that point, whether they have waived their right, whether whether they are stopped from raising such an issue after acceptance of the list deed. So on the question of waiver and estupel, my lord, I shall be placing some, my lord, one or two judgment. And then, my lord, Under the contracts, on the on the point of con under the contractual term, they were bound, Millard. On, the, on on that score, Millard, I shall be relying on some decisions. And thirdly, on the policy, whether we can. And in fact, in the read petition, the policy was never challenged. challenged. 
Rather, they have never questioned that policy, far less taking grounds in the red petition. So whether after all this, they can, they can argue that point from the bar, and whether the authority can impose this as per policy. So on the point of policy, Milot, I shall be relying. So first of all, Milot, may I rely on the point of estoppel and waiver? Milot, Lashi will find one written notes of argument I have yes, filed. Yes. If you Lashi kindly takes up. You have annexed the judgments. Yes, some judgments I have annexed. Some. <laughs> my Lord got it. My so first judgment on estoppel by conduct, my Lord. I so to rely, my Lord, on 2003 reported in 2003 to SCC page 355, BL Sridhar and others versus. Paragraph. paragraph 13, 15, 18, and 19. May I read? Well, paragraph 13. The estoppel is a rule of evidence and the general rule is enacted in section 115 of the Indian Evidence Act 1872, in short, the Evidence Act, which lays down that when one person has by his declaration, act, or omission caused or permitted another person to believe a thing to be true or to act upon that belief, neither he nor his representative shall be allowed in any suit or proceeding between himself and such person or his representative to deny the truth of that thing. Well, this was followed 1954 judgment. Then we lost you kindly take uh, paragraph 15. On the whole, an estoppel seems to be when in consequence of some previous act or statement to which he is either party or privy, a person is precluded from showing the existence of a particular state of facts. Estoppel is based on the maxim elegance contraria non est odiandas. Very difficult to know. A party is not party is not to be hard to allege the contrary. And is that is that species of presumption juris et de, de jure, absolute or conclusive or irrebuttable presumption, where the fact presumed to be pre, uh, presumed is taken to be true, not as against all the worlds, but against a particular party, and that only by reason of some act done, it is the it is in truth a kind of argument argumentum ad hominem. This term clouds me. Well, then, my lord, 18 and 19, the small paragraphs. Though estoppel is described as a mere rule of evidence, it may have the effect of creating substantive rights as against the person estopped. An estoppel which enables a party as against another party to claim a right of property, which in fact he does not possess, is described as estopped by negligence or by conduct or by representation or by holding out ostensible authority. Estoppel, paragraph 19, estoppel then may itself be the foundation of a right as against the person estopped and indeed 
if it were not so, it is difficult to see what protection the principle of estoppel can afford to the person by whom it may be invoked, or what disability it can create in the person against whom it operates in cases affecting rights. Where rights are involved, estoppel may with equal justification be described both as a rule of evidence and a, as a rule creating or defeating rights. It would be useful to refer in this connection to the case of Depuru Birangana Bira Bhargava Reddy versus Deputy Commissioner. This is equally this is equally tough. <laughs> So it is quoted from that judgment. Estobel, though a branch, no, South Indian names are very difficult to pronounce. It is like more difficult than Latin. I don't know how they themselves. Some time is required. Chinese is even more difficult. So it is quoted from that judgment. Estobel, though a branch of law of evidence, is also capable of being viewed as a substantive rule of law insofar as it helps to create or defeat rights which would not exist and be taken away part of that doctrine. Well, next judgment I shall be relying on, Milad, that is uh, reported in 2018, volume 12, SCC, 2010, paragraph 9 and 10. Plus, you will find it starts from page 26 of my yes. competition. Paragraph 9 and 10. Paragraphs 9. 9 and 10. 9? 9 and 10. In our view, the learned umpire took a possible view on the facts of the case, having analyzed the evidence before him and having arrived at the conclusion that the insurance policy was raised, raised given the conduct of the insurance company, not only in replying to the letter dated 1st July 1985, but also in adjusting the sum of additional premium. It is clear that though the insurance policy may have to be amended in the manner known to the law, and that too in writing between the parties, yet estoppel by conduct is a ground. Estoppel by conduct is a ground. The umpire was well within his legal cane to hold. Further, in absence of anything to reward the evidence produced on behalf of the appellant, that the purchase price of the jute would reflect the market value as on the date of the fire, Equally, the umpire was well within his legal bounds in arriving at a conclusion on facts that the sum of profits so and so uh, quintal, uh, per quintal would reflect from the market value of the jute stock as on the day of the fire. Sri Mehra, learned counsel for the insurance company, cited a judgment, uh, judgment Polymet India Private Limited, in reply. And replied on to uh, para 22 in particular that when the terms of the contract have been reduced to writing it cannot be changed without the mutual agreement uh, written agreement of both the parties on the facts of the case it was found in paragraph 14 where the three amendments to the policy were suggested by the petitioner insurance company by its reply agreed to agreed to only one this being the case, since the other two amendments were not, in fact, agreed by the agreed to by the insurance company, the court held uh, that where the terms of a contract are in writing, they cannot be changed without mutual agreement of the parties. It is in this context the court held that mutually is necessary to effect changes in an insurance policy. Uh, the portions are not not much relevance. On this point, Milot, another another only one more decision that will loss will there was no mutuality in changing of your policy. It was a one sided decision. Yes. Whether 
Yes. The lessees were not uh, heard. No, here it is the policy we have taken not in respect of the this petitioner only. We have taken a general decision, the policy. That in such a situation, since the petitioner, like many others, we are today. So this policy was taken. But in terms of that policy, these charges were made, raised, and the petitioner agreed and paid that. My point is, after having paid that amount. Acquisitions or estoppel, yes. You were stopped from raising that, no, you have no authority to raise that. Only one more decision, Milord, I have annexed with this. Mr. Talukar, I think, please continue on the, I have, I have a meeting to attend that. Oh, my Yes. I'm sorry. Please continue on the next. No, 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 no. Don't say that. <laughs> Rather, we take time. <laughs> for Leonard Council, for the respondents. Arvind, can you come back? Let the matter appear. The, Are you there on 27th March? Because I think... 22nd. But before that, you were saying it's possible. The week before that, it is possible. That week, Mr. Chawal Gupta will be traveling. Because everyone is refusing to take dates on those two days, actually. Mm -hmm. So work will be comparatively yeah, lighter. Okay. But the, the team will be traveling. Hey, hey. Uh, the 3rd of April? Mr. Talukha, 3rd April. 3rd April. Yes. Yeah, yes. If it can be earlier, it's only the spot. Next week, I don't think it will. Only one week to go. 3rd April. April. So it will appear as marked. Marked at 3.30. So that's... Uh, so that's... 3.30 p.m. marked. Yes. 